request granted. Oi, oi! How you doing, folks? I hope you're well on this fine Tuesday. Seven! Getting in there. Not hanging around seven. It's almost like you're waiting for me, my dear. God bless you. I appreciate it. Squidge! Brian! Mm, the man himself. How you doing, folks? I hope you're well. God, let me tell you, Squidge knows this. I know it's been like, oh, near you, Squidge. It's rained down here. The first time in... God, weeks. Weeks and weeks and weeks. I don't know. I wasn't keeping track. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I assume it would, Squidge, because we're not... You know, obviously, I'm not like... I can't throw a stone and land it in Squidge's back garden. Um, but there's certainly uh, places in the UK which are far further away from where I am to Squidge. Um, so, yeah, but you never, you never know. British weather, you know, it can, like, rain in one place and then, like, an hour away, it's blazing hot but yeah so it's cooled everything down but not not enough for me not enough for me hence uh tank top and uh electric fan i'm not i don't have to have the door open and uh, yeah so we don't gotta worry about a freaking cat coming in i just had to kick her out i was like oh you fluff ball get out you gotta leave now she's like meow I'm like no it's time to leave like, meow. And like, you don't understand what streaming is do you she's like no i was like did you speak to me in english He's like, no, I don't speak. Oh, what? Jog on. Uh, yes, it's stuck. That's the thing. So it's cooled down, and then and the rain has now stopped. So it's probably just going to heat back up again. <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, look, Seven, I appreciate it. There's no shame in it. You know. If you was, if you were streaming Seven, I'd be excited to see you. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, exactly. I think a bit of rain, it just takes the edge off for a minute, doesn't it, Squidge? It's like a booming thunderstorm, like those uh, thunderstorms we had on Red Dead the other day. That's what we need. Um, yeah, because I can already feel it. <laughs> so who knows? We might be back tomorrow. It'll just be the same old business as usual. But that doesn't matter. Because tomorrow's another day. Today's today. Today's Tuesday. Or day three. If we're talking in terms of Parasite Eve. My God. Um, It's... Uh, I'll give my full assessment of the game once we've completed the game. Uh, which, I don't know. Will it be today? I don't know. I mean, if we don't complete it today, I'm, I'm pretty sure we would complete it in short order tomorrow. I don't, we're not rushing anything, though. My God, yeah. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know, Ryan. It's, it's typical of people, isn't it? Where, um, you're, uh, whatever you've got, you want the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> such as the human condition um yeah because when you got that dry heat you're like oh my god just a bit it's so dry and dusty i can barely breathe and then it you know and then there's place in the world where it's like high humidity heat you're like if you've ever been in that you're like you're living it you just like it's not even like air anymore it's just like you're a swamp it's like swimming it's like i can't i can't breathe water you know, so he's up here. Not quite, you know, mammals, not amphibians. It's like, come on, he's up. Um, but of the two, I, I think you're right, uh, Ryan. I think you're better off with dry heat. As long as you've got, you know, liquids to sustain your life. But the I'd rather have the air was too dry than too damp. My God. 
You reckon, Ryan? Yeah, yeah. Because we're not going to rush it. Um, uh, and a lot, of, a lot of stuff has happened, but this um, this I'll, I'll tell you this. There's um, yo Jack. How you doing, bro? Uh, this um, there's more kind of a story and dialogue than I thought there was going to be. Um, which I mean, I should have realised. It's a, you know, it's it's core. It's a JRPG, isn't it? It's very core. You know, arguably a relatively simplistic one. Um. But it makes sense, you know. I I guess um. I was my brain was getting too st stuck on the, you know, the kind of the Resident Evil vibe, you know. Resident Evil um, you know, does its storytelling via um, you know, the environment, occasional conversations with other characters, and uh, you know, for various like documents and things um you find around and you read a little bit of what has been happening, um. Whereas, of course, Parasite Eve is very much like, okay, now we're going to have a conversa five minute conversation explaining what's going on. Then we're going to go to a different location and have another five minute conversation, which is fine. Uh, gives me, you know, a chance to, you know, to get back a little bit more into the voice acting. But I did notice that after, um, you know, six, seven hours of playing the game, I was a little bit. <coughs> uh, <laughs> but that's just because I'm out of practice. You know, playing these modern games where you don't need to voice act, it's. Um, you know, just out of practice, that's all. But my God, I can say overall, though, Ryan, that I'm very, very glad you chose it for us. Because if you hadn't, bro, it would have just sat on the list for who knows how long. Um, long time. We would have got to it eventually. Um, but I'm glad we have. It's, uh, I must say, I'm really rather enjoying it. And I'm really, I've really, I'm very intrigued by the story. I'm like, you can, it's like the story propels you forward. You're constantly on edge. You, you know you've got this uh, lurking dread that it's just it's a, it's something horrible around the next corner, and you're gonna have to deal with it. And it's not gonna get better, and it's just gonna get worse. <laughs> um, but how it's gonna wrap up? I mean, I think we can safely say that uh, Arya Brea is gonna be fine. Because she has another game. There's a sequel to this. <laughs> so she, And presumably she resolves the Eve situation. If not permanently. At least for the foreseeable future. I think we can probably guess at that. Everything else is up in the air though. I have to wait and see. Um, <clears throat> so Seven. Do you feel a lot of uh, female protagonists in video games are a bit kind of generic. Or there's not much to them. Um, <clears throat> uh, tormented souls. What's that? I don't know if I've heard of that. Uh, is it Alpha uh, Wikipedia page? Oh, released it on Steam in, uh, God, like less than a year ago. Survival horror. Inspired by the original Resident Evil and Alone in the Dark series. Uh, okay. I mean, it sounds like it would be good. Seven. And is it a good game? You just hate the protagonist. Okay. That's, I'm not, okay, now I understand why I've never heard of it, at least. But, um... Okay, well, that's the thing, Ryan. You know me. Especially after we've uh, jibber jampered for a while. We don't rush things here. Uh, we'll take, we take our time and do, you know, everything takes as long as it takes. Yeah. It's, um... I'll take, yeah, I'll get that one. Um... Oh, okay. So it's a good game, Seven. It's just... You don't like... <laughs> you, you, The protagonist that you play as, you want her to die. I suppose that... Maybe that takes the edge off slightly. Uh, with the tension. You're like... Oh, something might be about to kill me. But I'm also okay with that. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Metapod. Oh, Metapod. How you doing, buddy? It's so lovely to see you yesterday. 
Uh, yeah, you are, Pearly. Nice, buddy. Nice, oh, thank you for stopping in. Um, how are you doing? Yeah, lovely to see you yesterday, bud. Um, that was a thanks to Kitty. Kitty uh, paid points to guide us over to you, Matter. Not, of course, that you know, you're someone who would is like on my short list. You know, at the end of every stream, I'll see who is streaming of people I know, and I kind of balance it up with, you know, sometimes what they're playing, but mostly I don't really care. So I'm not I'm there for the streamer, not the game. Um, uh, I, I do take into consideration maybe how many viewers people have and try and prioritize people with like less viewers at the time. You know, if I see someone I know and like and they've got like 100 plus viewers, I'm like, well, you don't really need my help, do you? you you're doing all right. You know, not <laughs> you see what I'm saying. Um, but mostly it's more a case of, um, you know, when was the last time I raided somebody? But the more people I know, I, it, it gets hard. It gets hard sometimes. I'm like, okay, there's like six good candidates here. How do I decide? And you always want to matter, but obviously, uh, never can tell. But uh, Kitty was like, no, we're gonna go see Meta. I was like, well, okay, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> hand was forced. Never, never matter. I know I like that though. That's how I've got the um the uh with the producer set up on the channel now, matter is um I've got a list of games to cover. And I may have a slight preferences and how in like the order of we would do them. Uh but they decide now. They run the show. Squid had a good analogy the other day. I'm driving the car, but they're navigating. I have no idea where we're going. Uh they tell me left, right, forwards, you know. Um, okay, that sounds good, Seven. Anything that... Yeah, uh, jump scares. I think jump scares can be okay if they're done well. But jump scare for the sake of a jump scare that's not done well is you see through it and it it literally takes away for me the game i've like put a little negative mark against it i'm like oh you've just lost a point there you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's better if it's just not there but um survival horror done properly uh with you know resource management exploration um being smart about how you engage with enemies. Um, that's, um, yeah, that's... That kind of gameplay is um, very, incredibly satisfying. Um, so, yeah, it sounds... Uh, yeah, the Mortuary Assistant. What, I've seen a couple of people play. Not I've not watched them play it, but I've seen a couple of streamers streaming it um, recently, Jack. So, you like, you're cutting out dead bodies... Doing autopsies on dead bodies. Obviously, dead bodies. You know, it's, I don't think it's called an autopsy if it's uh, if they're not dead. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Um, but I think there's more to it than that. I think there's like you like there's some like weird puzzle or mystery within the environment of the uh, morticians. I don't know. <clears throat> But not cheap. Yeah, predictable. Uh, I'm not against it. Although a predictable jump scare, I guess, kind of loses its... Um, you know, kind of uh, loses the essence of what it's supposed to be, maybe. But I don't know. Um, oh, demonic possession of the of the dead bodies. Or of yourself. I don't know. It's that, I mean, it definitely looks interesting. Some people will be freaked out by that. I know... Squidge would definitely not want to, you know, hang out with us as we're playing a video game and we're cutting up dead bodies. You know, Squidge would be like, what the, f what the fuck even is this? Get out of here. <laughs> uh, yeah, right, Squidge. <laughs> sure, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip this one. It's, you know, I, 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 like, <laughs> I like the show, but you know, I'll, I'll see you next week. You know, wouldn't bother me. Uh, I don't have like a specific desire to cut up dead bodies, but I, I'm also not adverse to doing so yeah here in spirit always squidge always without a doubt one dear uh <laughs> twigsy oh sir twigsy good morning to you sir how you doing you just got to work have you um oh well twigsy 
yeah, you, you probably noticed, uh, Twigsy. Um, we you said you've been doing like uh, a lot of lurking recently, so you know anyway. But yeah, we we start a lot earlier than usual, or you, than we used to. We used to have that um hard lunchtime start for you, um, but now we're doing we're starting your morning time. Um, so you are always welcome here, sir. You know, I don't want to get you in trouble at work, but I, I'm sure you you've got that. You can handle that. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> um yeah but that's 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 fine uh seven do you know what i mean if um at the end of the day it's a you know it's the stream uh, what is a twitch stream a twitch channel it's, it's many things isn't it but one thing you could say is depending on the streamer depending on the community you could say it's a form of entertainment on some level whether that's just vaguely entertaining background noise or fully engaged oh my god this is better than anything i've seen on netflix i mean i feel that no twitch stream is probably <laughs> up to that standard but um maybe that's just me uh <laughs> uh you know it's been entertainment so if somebody's so if um so if a streamer is like overreacting seven for effect i don't see a problem with that that's not really what I'm necessarily going to be have done. I try to give you. I, I, I don't know. I guess I tried to make this. I consider this my job. I treat it. I try to treat it like a professional. I try to treat it like a work, but work I enjoy. And it's easier for me to just be myself. Um. Like I had, if I was going to like overreact to something, I'd have to think to do that. <laughs> like oh that's so funny and then i fall off my chair and it's like you, you, you'd, there's no way you could fall out of this chair accidentally let me put it that way <laughs> you know and then you'd be like what, what what are you doing up in here and that's and if someone does that that's that's fine or um um uh, yeah exactly exactly seven exactly we're all different so you know it'd be terrible if um who's the biggest streamer on twitch i don't know look if you take the top 10 streamers on twitch they might have very similar qualities about what their stream entails and what they put out now imagine every single streamer on twitch was a carbon copy you'd be like oh well now now the whole platform is boring unless <laughs> unless of course you're a, you know you're a consistent viewer of one of the top 10 streamers then it's you know then it's different isn't it um but for us that would be terrible that would be awful um <clears throat> <laughs> hey look you know i i you know i'm just glad to you i'm just very honored to have you guys here and you get anything out of this it'd be it, it'd be it'd be tragic and there's a lot of streamers on twitch who are in that situation where um you know, they're streaming and there's nobody there. At least even if they had like maybe like one or two friends who turn up consistently. Then you've got your buddies there to speak to. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'll do if you guys all decided didn't like me. I mean, I, I keep doing it. I keep doing it. I try and meet new people. <laughs> but if you did, I'd, I'd want you to uh, at least tell me what I've done to upset you. <laughs> that's all not that I, I don't expect you guys to be you know you, real life real life do you know what i mean if um you know if any of you were like just disappeared for six months six years whatever i would i'd be very happy to see you back you know after the fact it wouldn't or well, certainly wouldn't um have any expectations i don't have any expectations you you you, you, you di all do me too much honor um <clears throat> See, you say that, Ryan. So, uh, Ryan, I've, um, aside from all the interaction I've had with you, um, on my channel, you and you're in my chat, and, um, you know, brief conversations we had on Discord, uh, I've seen you on your own stream, buddy. Uh, <laughs> you, I don't, you, you are a very generous, friendly, you know, well spoken, uh, man. You know, you seem like you can handle your own business and you'd like you like the opposite of annoying ryan so i don't know i don't know if anyone's anyone's got a problem with you ryan i'd um 
unless you've got skeletons in your closet that <laughs> we don't know about I'd be very like I'd find that person sus if I met some dude and they were like, "Oh, Ryan, not that good." Like they'd be like, "Oh, not that, not that guy, Ryan, freaking Ryan, coming around here, jog on, Ryan." I'd be like, "What? Ryan's cool." They'd be like, "No, he's not." I'd be like, "Well, you, now you now the burden of proof is on you because I'm I'm still here telling you he's cool, you know." But word is me bond. Uh, <laughs> um. <clears throat> That's true, Seven. That's true. Um, I, yeah, I've been even in like some smaller streams where um, there'll be um, channel point redemptions popping off that bring up like videos that uh, you know the, the streamer has to stop and do something. There's like a you know some like uh, you know music video pops up and then you know there's just like five ten minutes of absolute chaos. Well, I don't even know what's going on, and I'm like, okay. Are we playing a video game here? What? <laughs> um, you know, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's um, each to their own, isn't it, Seven? Um, <clears throat> Fair enough, Jack. It can happen. It can happen. It'd be work for me. I'm very uh, stable here. Um... <laughs> I missed that second part, Ryan. Yeah, there you go. They they will do that. So uh, I wouldn't run uh, from Ryan's uh, presence if uh, as if I was on fire, unless of course Ryan set me on fire. Then I almost certainly would. So you know. Uh, <laughs> oh bless you, Twigsy. I appreciate that. I don't know. Some people um, some people like people who are a little bit more soft spoken, uh, a little bit more, or the opposite, a little bit more hype. Yo, guys, super hype. Ooh, yeah. Loud noises. Flashing lights. <laughs> Let's have a rave. Um, uh, you know, and I, you know, to example, I'm very, um, I, I get the impression I come across as very, well, I'd like to think I'm confident. Maybe I'm not as, I'm pretty confident here on Twitch. Maybe I'm not as confident in real life situations. I don't know. I try to. I do try and force myself and get better at it. And I have definitely gotten better over my life. God, if you guys saw me as a kid, you wouldn't recognise me. Um, aside from the age difference. <laughs> I had no confidence as a child at all. Um, for various reasons. Uh, but some people interpret that Twigsy as arrogance. Some people, There have been people who have looked at me as I am as a Twitch streamer and gone, Oh, that guy, that guy's arrogant. That guy's full of himself. That guy just talks a load of nonsense and runs his mouth. I don't. I do, that is the last bit is true. I do talk a load of nonsense and run my mouth. <laughs> uh, and you know, but I'm I am confident. I'm not full of myself. I don't think I'm better than anyone else. But I do like to try and hold others to a certain standard, with a reasonable standard. Um, I don't judge anyone in ways that I don't judge myself. Um, and if I find people severely lacking, I'm not going to go on the attack, but I will be like wary of them. Um, except of the exception being if people make things personal with me, then wow, now you just stepped into the ring, you know. So it 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 I'm not, you know, I'm not backing down, you know. Um, <clears throat> okay, that is my one flaw. One of my few flaws, Seven. I am not prejudiced against the letter T. It's the opposite. I hold hold the letter T in such high regard that I have no need to, uh, you know, prop it up. The letter T is such a strong letter of the alphabet. It needs no help from me. So, you know, I'll just let it do its own thing. And I'll do my own thing. That's how it is. Um, yeah, Ryan, it... it I'll tell you this one. It gets easier. And here's the best thing to do, Ryan. Um, if you do, if you do, because I've not. I mean, you might have been streaming when I've not. You might, or you might be busy work. Or you might have been streaming when I've not seen. I've been asleep or whatever. Um, best thing is not to worry about chat. Just talk to yourself. Um, about what you're doing in the game or whatever. However mundane it is, even if it's just like, oh, I like, 
look at that graphic. That graphic's good, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> or whatever it might be, you know, just talk not nonsense. So, oh, nice weather we've got here today. I, and I, I know, I know from experience when I started this channel, my first few streams, there's nobody here. It's very frustrating and um, you, you can spend like six hours playing the game, talking to yourself. And you've literally spent six hours playing the game, talking to yourself. And like, why did I do that? What a fucking waste of time. Um, but it is good practice. Uh, but don't worry about that, Ryan. Not everyone's different as well, buddy. It's um, you know, we've had we've had people come in here and they're like, "Yo, bro, can you stop talking and play the game?" <laughs> and I'm like, "No, no, there's other people on Twitch doing that, who are doing less talking and more gaming. That's not this channel. You're welcome to be here, but you're not welcome to tell me what to do." You know, um, it's just practice, Ryan. But yeah, if you ever want to chat with me, buddy, I'll talk your ear off. Or I'll open up my ear roll and you can uh, vent into that. <laughs> um, you, d Meta, you do a good job. I think, uh, Meta, you, from what I've seen in your stream, you consistently have like a core uh, group of buddies who are like, they, they, you know, they don't, they do not miss a Metapod stream. They are there. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so you've you've got those uh, few buddies there to like bounce your conversation off of. So if anybody new comes in, they can involve themselves in the conversation if they want. Um, you know, so uh, I don't know, but yeah, no, you'll um, yeah, okay, fair, uh, fair enough, Mel. Okay, I think it's because you, you're a lively little bunch. Um, that. <laughs> They are, uh, they d they do love the altar of the uh, in the shiny cocoon, uh, and <laughs> you know they're like, "Yo, Metapod, let me tell you this." Yo, Metapod, let me ask you this. So maybe they keep that going. I don't know, um, but it's 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 tough, buddy. It's tough. Um, and this it, what works for one person isn't necessarily going to work for another. Um, yeah, thank you, Twixie. That I I feel you have to because um, I'd have to. I just think in my own life how much absolute bs i've had to put up with and have been involved with sometimes you know like lying to myself uh you know doing stuff that was not good for me that was not good for other people um and just the way the society is formed i can't help but i have to cut as much of it out as possible um i don't know maybe, I've, I've, maybe i'm just more sensitive to it maybe i've just experienced it a bit more maybe i don't oh, maybe not i don't know um energy and charisma oh i, I don't know you haven't got energy i think that's just because you work a lot ryan but uh you definitely i don't know you seem charismatic to me sir you're just a bit more low-key you're a bit more like on the chill side you know i hey i, I aside from people criticizing me saying i'm arrogant I even had a guy, not to my face, and got back to me, say, oh, that is Nib, he's hyperactive. Like, you know, like I've, like a, like a, like a child, like ADHD, like medical condition. Like, you need some medication for that, son, because you need to calm down. And I'm like, now, I'm not going to mention names, but I've seen this person stream, never seen the person, because they're no cam streamer, and they don't stream anymore. Um, but when they did, um, they, you know, they, they were going for more for the too cool for school kind of vibe, you know. And I was like, you know, I'm not hyperactive, bro. Maybe it's just that you're boring. Maybe, maybe you're just, you're just boring. Maybe that's what the problem is. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say this to them. I would say this to them, that them, to them if we I was in a conversation with them. Um, do you know what I mean? It's like, I'm not hyperactive. It's called enthusiasm. You might want to look it up in the dictionary because you need some of it, my friend. Not no judgment, but <laughs> hyperactive. It's called energy. It's called you know. It's called uh, it's called grabbing the universe by the nuts and being like, "Oi, what are we doing here, son?" You know, you might get a slap. That's what you're supposed to do. Um. Well, don't force yourself, Ryan. But, um, you know, and I can't promise I'll be there. Because, um, in all honesty, I do like, I like to support the community as much as I can. 
but I don't really consider myself a Twitch viewer. I will find myself in people's streams and I will enjoy the stream. Um, but I'm not a Twitch viewer. I'm a Twitch streamer. Um, so like if people, you know, people say like, oh, I'm, um, you know, oh, the viewers. Who are the viewers of a particular channel? I guess in a technical sense, I'm not a viewer of anybody's channel. So some people might say, oh, well, that means you're a dickhead then is. And it's like, no, I support. I'll drop a hard lurk. You know, I'll promote people. I'll shout people out. You know, I'll tell pe other people out also another person is. But that's just what little free time I get. I'm doing other... I'm eating or sleeping or doing dishes. Literally, my <laughs> my schedule now is wake up, shower and coffee, start stream. After stream, make and eat food and do the dishes. And then I might have an hour, two... No, probably about two hours where I am do various things which are not watching Twitch. Uh, I've been reading a lot of Sandman recently. I've been watching a lot of Sandman recently. Uh, I'll mess around on uh, Final Fantasy XI for an hour or so doing something. Um, you know, and then rinse, repeat. That's that's my Monday to Friday now. <laughs> never, never ends. Atheline. How you doing, my dear? Are you all right? Um, yes, yeah, Squidge, and that's fine. We've all got a different ratio. I'm like the opposite. I'm, uh, or even more. I, I, I'd say like I'm a 98% streamer, 2% viewer. You know, the people who are like, I've seen streamers do it. They'll um, be like, yo, this is a community. Uh, if if you if you support me and you're in my stream, what and be, be like one of my dedicated viewers, I will come to your stream and I will be a viewer for you. And it's like, well, firstly, not that doesn't hold up because now you've got 70 people in your chat and you've just promised you're going to go and hang out in all those people's streams. What are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> and it shouldn't be like that. It should be. We're a community, but also individuals. We're doing our individual thing. If somebody likes it, they're going to be there and they're going to support it. If they don't like it, they're not going to be there and not going to support it. And that's fine. Either any combination, any degree of that on any level is perfectly fine. Um, you know, and if someone's like, oh, yeah, I, I don't want to go to his stream because uh, he never comes to my stream. Well, that means you're not, you're, you're, you're not part of the community, which is the Isnib show. And you don't want to be. You know, that means you'd be coming to my channel potentially for the wrong reasons. I only want you here because either you actually enjoy the content of the stream, of the show, or you, um, you know, even if we're doing something that doesn't really interest you, you like me enough and support me enough that you will drop that hard lurk over, you know, all, over all the other millions of streamers out there. That's the only reason to be here. If anybody's thought is, I'll, sub I'll, I'll go and hang out on this person's stream because then I feel that that might instill a sense of obligation for them to come and support me. Maybe I'll, that maybe that works for other people. That's not going to work with me. And if uh, <laughs> and if people secretly get salty about that, then it's like, what, what are you doing? What are you even on the platform for? What is this to you? Do your own thing people will find it or they won't people will support it or they won't people will enjoy it or they won't do your own thing and it, someone got me ranting there anyway Atheline how you doing my dear how you doing um slick mick as well Oy. um you, are you hyperactive i know you um is that like an official thing uh slick mick and i guess as an adult that's probably like calmed down a little and uh, do you have to take anything for it? You don't have to tell us. That's none of our business. i um, just curious. Uh, but I know from my own uh, dealings with you, Mick, that you're very um, you're very uh, hyper-focused. Like if you've got like a p little pa passion project, many of which you've done for me personally, you're like, Is I've got a good idea. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, <laughs> Steve Mick's like, look at all this stuff I've done, Is. And I'm like, oh my God, bro, that's, <laughs> that's amazing. You didn't have to do that. And he's like, no, but, you know, I wanted to. So I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> so, you know, you can definitely channel that, um, that focus or that and that energy. Um, did you, uh, <laughs> seven, that uh, okay emote. Did you like that? 
Yeah. Did you? Uh, I look, that's rather cool. I like that. Um, Sean, how you doing, my dear? So I've got two chats here. I've got the chat on the the screen, and then the chat, which I'm actually just trying to catch up with. Uh, <laughs> Slick Mink, you're already cool, bro. And if anyone if anyone disagrees with that, you send them to me, sir. I will. Uh, I'll take. I'll. I will go to court with you over that one. Anyone says that. So, same with you, Ryan. If anyone says uh, you, you're not a good guy, God. I guess I don't know, like I say, there's skeletons in your closet, but <laughs> we'll find out in court, won't we? Yes, we will. Um, sunglasses to be cool. Yeah, I think that's my problem. That's the only thing stopping me from being cool. Um, yeah, you've got to smoke or vape or drink. Yeah. <laughs> As somebody who uh, used to be a smoker, I can tell you it's definitely not cool. Um, <laughs> you bl you blame me to your right? Okay, there you go. <laughs> um, I oh, take some meds for it, dear uh, statement. Okay, cool. I'm glad that helps. Um, yeah, Sean, I know, <laughs> I know, my dear. It's, it, I'm silly. I'll tell you what it is, Sean. Um, so that mint gets what? It's just like a month ago, two months ago now. You probably heard me ranting, Sean, about my plan to soundproof the room and then do like a, a, a late stream. So I'm there for the, you know, the uh, stateside evening, get in the mix with the rest of the platform. And although it definitely hasn't has dampened the sound, it's not proofed it and it's not dampened enough that I can just talk at this level while my brother's asleep. It wakes him up. This is crappy uh, British terraced houses with their paper thin walls made out of freaking pebbles and horsehair. Seriously. Uh, <laughs> um, so I, I was like, well, I need, I want, I, I feel like I want to and I need to stream more. So um, I've got, you know, I've got a nice little niche doing nice early, well, a, you know, mid afternoon starts for everyone over my time zone and first thing in the morning for you guys. Like first thing in the morning for Athelene. <laughs> and seven is uh you know it's what it is you know but it's, it's going good it's going good though sean uh but you're awake that's what matters yeah look af <laughs> af and seven yes it's 6 40 what even is that that's the middle of the night um mm. yeah 100 percent sleep me and i've not done a massive amount of research but if it's a case of you know, you chonking on a, a, a vape all day long or smoking a pack of cigarettes. I don't think it's it's close. I think the vape is much better for you. Um, nothing, not, an okay person, nothing too bad. <laughs> um, I think I think you're a bit better than that, Ryan. But like I said, I, I, you know, we're not intimately familiar, so, so I can't, you know, I don't want to like kiss your ass and ryan's like god it is he's picking me up and he's not even seen my um you know uh human skin suit collection you know <laughs> yeah hey ryan i might be like oh my god that's amazing uh <laughs> uh but no i I've, i don't know i've got a good vibe about you sir i'll, I'll say that um ah right of course seven because that's a problem I've seen a lot of people who vape will you they'll hit that vape a lot more than they would it's like cigarettes. I've, like, um, I think Mike has a, a big tank. I've seen like people with vapes like this big. They'll just be like, and then they'll breathe out like a freaking a cloud, a, a, like a, a cloud, and then they'll just uh, hit it and they just keep hitting it. And I'm like, well, what is? Your lungs are like, what? Are, what are you doing to me? That's what your lungs are saying to your body. They're like, why? What? Why? What are you doing to me? Why are you doing this? Now, if you've got like a little pen thing, and you're just like having a, you know, a few hits on that, like Seven says, at the rate of that you would smoke cigarettes or less, then yeah. But um, um, you got brick walls, Jack. Excellent. Yeah. No, <laughs> the walls here. I mean the. The bricks are there, but the uh, 
the, the plastering on top is like uh, 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 it, there's literally hair in there. <laughs> it's, it's weird. <laughs> um, yeah, um, it's my brother, basically, who is to blame, uh, Ryan. No, not really. He's a real adult doing real adulting. Now, he works from home uh, three days a week and works in the office two days a week. But it's normal working hours. So come, like... 10 o'clock my time he's like going to bed or he's not far off going to bed so that's like prime time on twitch isn't it so that's when i have to uh come down and uh you know it, it, it is what it is i'm not someone who's going to be deterred by things not working out the way i want them to because that is the story of life isn't it <laughs> you know yeah Af. i appreciate that my dear I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> you know, not every, not, you know, not everyone wants this first thing in the morning. But, um... Yeah, so that's the thing. I finished 9 o'clock uh, my time, uh, Slick Mix. So that's still reasonable. So you can do over 9,000 redemptions any point of the stream. That's perfectly okay. Um, it just used to be a problem. So even then, even if the soundproofing had worked... That would be a thing. I'd have to, you know, try and be quiet. But it's, it's not enough, apparently. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely fine, sleep mate. Don't worry about it, buddy. Um, right, okay. I didn't think alcohol was, like, that bad for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. I might give you a combined one. Oh my god, that's your uh <laughs> Let me come up with something good for you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, as I will add them up when it's an individual person, but I'm gonna add you together. You're gonna be a fusion going on here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Squidge is gone. <laughs> Any more? Uh... There we go. I just want to make sure before I start doing it. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought, I, I don't know, Matt. I thought a little bit of alcohol wasn't too bad for you. No, thank you, Squidge. Oh, we, um, Metapod's got one as well. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go. Let me <laughs> just compose something. Right, it's so up to 45 now. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Let me pull that up there. Let me get this out of the way. Bless you guys. There's um there's some channels, that, Twitch channels. I don't, I've never, I don't, and I've never even had nine thousand points on. And then here, you guys are doing like multiples. It's not, it's not a small amount of points, I feel. Um, oh my God. Okay. All right, it's five there, isn't it? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls... It is I, Isnib, with a public service announcement. It is my great pleasure to announce to you all the fact that Slick Mick Affeline Seven Squidge and Metapod are, without a doubt, they're bringing their powers together in the ultimate fusion. They are indeed over 45,000. And you can take that to the bank. There we go. I hope, <laughs> I hope that was satisfactory. Um... <laughs> Uh, 
excellent that was pretty good that was pretty awesome flex there guys thank you so much let me um sort you all out here and get your get your sort on the leaderboard you just uh two for a second <laughs> oh well thank you guys god i'm um i'm lucky to know you all i made the mic go weird for a second that's we've got a bit of a problem over here jack i don't know what it is it's um my mic is quite high turned up quite high which means if i go quite loud it peaks quite a lot but any lower uh you guys can't hear it so i've been told uh <laughs> so uh i don't there needs to be a, a way for me to set my overall sound levels higher so it's the output on the stream is higher but i can turn down my levels in obs i don't know what is going on i don't know what it is it's probably just windows but f me in the a like it is inclined to do there we go so slick mick 31st flex bro uh you ain't catching up with um mike anytime soon but you keep going squidge 29th my god Here we go. Sixteenth for half. All right, seven. I'm not sure where you are on the board. Seven. Is that your first one, seven? <coughs> maybe the noise gate but i think the noise gate i've set on jack is very subtle it is okay cool cool there we go i think that's metapods first as well isn't it cool excellent well bless both of you getting on the leaderboard i appreciate it greatly you will you shall remain there forever boom let me sort these out Now you get a link on there, so I'll just by uh by standard I uh just link your uh own regardless of your streamer or viewer, I'll just link your um your uh, Twitch pages. if you wanted to link something else just let me know um metapod no i've never played a guilty gear game i have like some old uh, uh, an old one on the um xbox 360 uh i don't is it looks like it's a at first glance i'm like is this a jrpg no i think it's like a fighting game right but you feel free to educate me Mal. so i think there's a new one come out recently or something that people are getting excited about it i don't know um i think that's uh got everybody sorted out there let me just uh double check those links i've got for both of you What that? What's that popping off? Oh, Ryan, what? What's going on? What are you doing there, sir? I got your uh, your letters wrong there, sir. What was that? Oh, Ryan, is that five gift subs you just did there, buddy? Bless you, Ryan. You don't need to do that at all. Thank you, sir. You do, you I'm very honoured to have you as an executive producer, Ryan. Uh, but who am... You know why I'm here, Ryan. And I'm trying to... If that's what... You, you know, you want to spend your disposable income on, Ryan. Helping me out. My God, sir. You just let me... If I can do anything for you, you just get at me. Look at that. Gone to Barrel. Ruru. Lawsy. Jess. And Dansbridge. Bless you, Ryan. My God. Um, I appreciate that greatly, sir. Ryan is the man. I need to be able to spell. That helps. That helps. I can freaking spell things. It's 
spelling is is uh useful. <laughs> right, let me just take this again. Here we are. All right, seven. You're working. Perfect. Matt pod. Also working. There we go. Perfect. That's 38 peeps on the board now. I'm pretty happy about that. That's all thanks to you guys. Ryan, bless your heart again, sir. Not, not necessary. But, my God. Thank you, buddy. Um, <clears throat> let me catch up with you. My God, there is... <laughs> Okay, interesting. Interesting slick meat. That's what I thought. I thought a small amount of alcohol was not only not necessarily bad for you, but it could potentially be good. It's just when you it's very I think this is my understanding, it's very easy to go cross that line of maybe good, not bad, to oh my god, this is really awful and you're destroying your physical body by doing this. And then most people who get to that point, a very thin line step over they go like way above and they do it frequently um oh five or six of them yeah i know it's like a long running series isn't it a 2d fighting game that's why i've never got into them now i love the idea of them uh I just suck so badly at fighting games. And I understand you have to, to get to be get good at a fighting game. You have to get good at it. You have to put the time in. You have to pick a character and you have to learn their move set. And you have to practice their moves and get good at doing their moves. It just always seems like too much work for me. I will grind to hell when I can see numbers increasing with experience points. <laughs> but when I have to when the X, XP is in my own brain and you can't see the number. That's when I'll start losing interest. Uh, <laughs> um, all right, so it's the uh, it's a transgender character, a new character. So I don't know why it's con I don't know why that's controversial. That's I'm sure the hate. Uh, so I'm sure there's uh, you know, a lot of uh, trans people are like happy about it, who are like, yeah, this is cool. This is representing us. The haters are probably like. I imagine are like, oh, you've just you just made this character not as you know, it's not a real character. This character was just made to appeal to, you know, what is popular at the minute. <laughs> that kind of thing. And it's like whether that's true or not, it's like, why do you care? Is is the game good? Do you like the game? Okay, cool. Play the game. Oh, you don't even have any interest in the game. Why do you have you got Get a life. Get a life. Do you have a life? No, you don't. You should go get one. I recommend it. They're good. I like I like mine. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, oh, did you? Now, yeah, excellent. Maybe who knows? Well, I'm not against trying any game out, folks. I just can't get. I can't guarantee like uh, what we would consider like a completion of anything. But I could. I could do a single stream on any game in theory uh assuming we have access <clears throat> yeah a lot seven a lot of people are um have been victimized for it um so that's not good so that's why there's the uh you know people are like a fight for it push back against it have marches have you know have pride before it um but of course you correct the ideal is whether it's 50 years from now 20 years from now 100 years a thousand years it's not it's not a factor you are who you are nobody cares it's not nobody cares callously nobody cares as in it doesn't matter think of like star trek all the different weird alien races and that now you get conversations that crop up about differences in culture you know people say uh, stereotype and have prejudices against maybe like the Ferengi 
when they're you know getting involved in business for example uh <laughs> but for the most part overwhelmingly people don't care they literally don't care uh, they everyone gets treated like an individual um and you know their gender or species almost universally isn't a factor the content of one's individual character who you are as an individual independent of everybody else if you woke up tomorrow and all other human beings had vanished they were dead turned to zombies just literally vanished into the ether you're the only human being alive on the planet and nobody's ever coming back you spend the rest of your life on your own who are you whoever that person is that's the that's the real you that's the person that you should be all the time anyway it should be a different person so if you can ask yourself that hypothetical conundrum uh proposition and you can say yeah that's i wouldn't change yo i ain't gonna stream folks not and that's not just because there's no electricity <laughs> you know if there's definitely no nobody there and there's not gonna be anyone, i'm gonna stream to myself but i'm i'm not changing you know i'm still me does that make sense um <laughs> do they wear crocs is that important uh seven so you, are you prejudiced against crocs or you're an advocate um uh barbasol <laughs> is that something you've just invented Mel? you need to start writing this down sir um you understand that they're silly get a pass yeah i mean i don't know um i've never owned or worn crocs they're just like weird like rubber sandals aren't they they seem if they're comfortable yeah legion cage this is this is legion cage this is what the people demand i could have started parasite eve an hour ago but people turn up we had a you know we had a over forty five thousand of fusion uh between five individuals of awes awesomeness and extreme caliber and then we've just been talking about everything under sun since <sighs> i'm here to serve the viewers legion cage if this is what they want this is what i shall serve to them uh, you know on a plate silver platter i don't own a silver platter the silver platter is proverbial but it's shiny it's shiny af because i shined it myself a lot you know got i got that wrist action you know what i'm saying uh, <laughs> um but yeah you need to be writing this down metapod okay <laughs> i'm imagining uh, metapod he's like pitching his uh new sci-fi show it's like star trek but it's different and they're like well, how's it different well it's got different names <laughs> and it's not it's called barbasol it's not called star trek uh <laughs> i don't know it's worth a try um there you go there you go i don't I look and here's the thing seven i know you uh you're only playing somebody it wants to wear crocs and they're comfortable and they're fun even if someone's like oh my god this is the height of fashion that's fine they're allowed to believe that we all like different things don't we um yes uh <laughs> uh agreed agreed seven uh I'm, I'm always um hoping did you seven did you see cage when he grew his beard out um when it was his birthday the other day and uh on um on sunday for calm violence scotty did a little like compilation of him um and it's, it reminded me when i he had a little clip with his beard and i was like my god and it, i think he just not shaved he just whatever he's been you know guys sometimes do that just like i'm not gonna shave for a bit i can't really be bothered um you know one less little chore i've got to worry about um i was like god damn cage you look freaking you know with his full beard he's like looking um he's looking like an oil baron or something he's got some distinction i could you know like um cowboy hat or a monocle or um you know or like a, a but butler or something i don't know you know man of distinction but you know choosing not to so 
Um, you own a pair of Crocs, but they're too small. We need to take them back to the shop. The store. Sorry, the store. Uh, <laughs> cage. And we're like, yeah, the, you gave me the wrong size. And they're like, no. But whatever, I don't know. Um... Yeah, this is true, isn't it? It's um I can't remember the name of it. It's um he did, didn't he? Uh it is it good. Um Yeah, I am <laughs> It's God, I'd be a terrible I'd say terrible. It's not a fem a females there's this cultural uh a thing where they have to do certain things to uh, have sex appeal um like shave your legs shave your armpits wear makeup and stuff like that you don't have to do any of that because you're an individual you do what you want um but uh i don't know it's uh and every culture is different like if i was female i would probably be I would uh wouldn't rebel against that. I'll just not do it. And then I'd be <laughs> and then society would assume, you know, consider me a failed female. And I'd be like, I don't give two flying bucks. <laughs> yeah, the patriarchy. Down with the patriarchy, the scumbags. Um does not nothing to do with me. Orville, that's what it's called. It's super good, is it? So this is my question, Cage. Is it is it's not canon Star Trek, but it is Star Trek as in it's not just a knockoff of Star Trek, like an obvious loving knockoff. It is Starfleet. It is the same alien races. It is, uh, it is canon, even if it's a different universe canon, or it's or it's completely unrelated. This has got. I guess I don't really know. Um. Oh, the largest size. Well, I mean, that's Disney.com. I think that's the issue, Cage. I think everything they sell on Disney.com is for little kids. Hey, look, Cage, it's not the outside that matters. It's what's in your heart, sir. Isn't it? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, F, yeah, so you've probably... I know you've dealt with some of this. It depends where... Yeah, I've heard this. I heard this fact the other day. Um, air hostesses, air, you know, stewardesses, you know, uh, not the dudes, but if you're biologically female and you work, you know, as an air hostess, stewardess on an aeroplane, you know, the, uh, the peeps who bring around the drinks and make sure everyone's all right and tells you to do your seatbelt and all that. Um, I don't think this is, it's not in law, but in a lot of the companies, they have to wear heels. You have to wear heels. And it's like that's not practical. Oh yeah, well we don't care. We we're just the air, airplane company, and we just care about appearances. And you have, to, if you want to like your job, or rather, we don't care if you like your job. If you want to keep your job, you do what we say, and we say you wear heels. What about what about Dave over there? He doesn't have to wear heels. Well, you know, he's biologically male, so you know, he, he's it's sex it's sexist, isn't it? You know, if they had a thing that everyone had to wear heels, that would just be weird. Well, then they're getting sexist, aren't they? So it's like, uh, um, seven. I respect it greatly. We're kindred spirits. Right. Okay. It's obviously a yeah, a huge love letter to Star Trek, isn't it? And everybody knows that it, without Star Trek, it wouldn't exist. But it is completely separate. Got you. Got you. It's the same idea. Excellent. How much of it is there, Cage? I, I do like, um, I do like Seth MacFarlane. I think he is like a cool guy. Um, not every Disney is for kids, damn it. Yeah, but there's no Disney that's exclusively for adults. Well, that's you know that's Disney's fault. That's just that's their judgment on you, Cage, not mine. The largest size Crocs they had do not fit an adult, you know. So that's on them, isn't it? Um, 
the Emperor's new groove. Is it is it too uh, is it too groovy? Yeah, and of course Star Wars is for adults. It's not exclusively for adults, Jack, is it? Well, I guess maybe nowadays. I don't know. A little kids get into Star Wars. It feels like it's just adults. <laughs> it's for Star Wars, right? I don't know. Um, Star Wars is for adults. I don't know. Um, yeah. Aff, yeah. In fact, did you message me? Right, okay. I won't discuss that. But I guess that's somewhat related. But, but yeah. Um, three seasons. It's more realistic version. I thought it was like pure comedy. Oh, okay. I, that's it. I don't know. So I guess it is. I guess it is, Jack. Um. Oh, okay. You just got chunky feet. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Um. Shoe size differences um, between the US and UK. I know you, you guys are slightly off. You had to go one bigger than us. Um, let's have a look. Oh, two, two bigger than us. Sorry, did you say cage? You uh, you wear a fourteen cage, and you bought the thirteen, and they don't fit. God damn cage! Jeez, okay, it's not quite uh, yeah. So the US fourteen is a thirteen and a half in the UK. Bloody hell, cage! You got some stompers on your son. I'm 11. I'm just an 11. So I'm uh, in US, I'm an 11.5. So if I was over there, I'd be looking for 11.5 size. Damn. He's going to kick some doors in, folks. And you know what they say about a, a gentleman with large feet, don't you? They say, short and sweet, is, um, you know, she's uh, not upset about the situation. Uh, <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't get it, Jack. I thought it was slightly off. I didn't think it was that close. But um, it seems to be. Um... Exa exactly. Exactly, Ryan. A gentleman with gigantic feet has gigantic... Ox. Yes, yeah, socks. Not the other thing that sounds like ox. Uh... <laughs> um... Damn. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough, Jack. Yeah, I thought I had big feet. I guess my my, my feet aren't that big. I'm just a I'm just a lowly UK eleven. But fair enough. Um. Anyway, guys, I have been ranting for like an oh well over an hour now, and it's always a pleasure. Um, but we are here to <laughs> do some parasite Eve. This is you know, as I'd feel bad if we didn't do any of it. <laughs> uh for the duration of the stream um but don't uh don't feel you need to hold back folks i will uh answer all questions i will certainly try to that's what i'm here to do uh but yeah we've we've uh we've solved some of the world's problems today um we've you know we've learned about orville we had uh the uh mind meld you know the the wonderful five way over forty five thousand. It's glorious. Bloody hell, Ryan dropping five gift subs. Bless you, Ryan. Um, my God, seven. <laughs> As a kid, I wanted those trainers so badly. Uh, sneakers, if you're wondering what trainers are. That's what we call them over here. We don't have sneakers in the UK. We have trainers. The same, different word, same thing. Um... And as a kid, I remember they had like weird light LEDs in the sole, like when when they lit up as you they put pressure on them, and you walked. Um, as a kid, I desperately wanted those. You, yeah, Jack had them. 
Yeah. Nice, Jack. It was, um... Yeah, exactly, Athlete. Learning people's shoe size. All sorts of things. It's still in kids' feet. Tiny feet. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Tiny feet. Hairy legs. That's nothing wrong with my legs are hairy. My legs are, you know. I've seen hairier legs, but, uh... Also not. I once, um... Knew a dude who shaved his whole body. I found that curious. So I, I, I wasn't fully sure of, uh, you know, because men shave parts of their body, don't they? Of course they do. Uh, but, um, you know, you stop at a certain point. So I just wondered, I was like, oh, do you, did he just have trouble deciding where to stop? He was just like, I'm just, you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do the whole lot. Um, no, no, not, nothing wrong with that. You know, you want to shave your whole body? It seems like a hassle, really. Uh, <laughs> Squidge, go get, get some work done. I'd, I hate to be. Oh, I love you being here. Um, I'd hate to be um the cause of you not getting any work done. Um, yeah, Jack, whole body. Um, yeah, I guess. I was thinking uh, last summer. I uh I didn't wet shave, but I did uh run the clippers on my armpits. Darkly pointed out. He's like, oh, shaven pits. I was like, just because of getting sweaty. Um. Yeah, I don't know. How do you do your back? Do you know what I mean? I can understand, you know, if he's doing your own legs. What about your butt crack? What about your butt crack, bro? I don't know. I guess he got someone to help him. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, it just seemed like a hassle. Like when I'm trimming my neck beard stop getting out of hand i will like stray onto the shoulders i'm like eh, where do i stop i don't know let's get rid of this you know but uh he just didn't know when to stop um yeah no that's f yeah that's fair seven but you know i mean your butt crack is like, directly behind you and it's like mine is like quite forested um yeah, I mean, you'd have to be. I feel you have to be careful around the. Uh... Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Parasite Eve. We're on day three. Uh, I um. There's a lot going on. You work it out. Yeah. Yeah. If you're determined enough, you certainly will. Seven. That's the way it goes. Um, we're currently. Yes, day three. We've had a couple of run-ins with Eve, and it's slowly coming together. Arya Braille is clearly somehow related. Like, she's got the special mitochondria. That's already been proven. That can f She's the only one who can fight off Eve. That cannot be overtaken by Eve or be transformed. So it's all, already, it's all on her. Um, we don't know the full extent of why that is. She may have been the recipient of d kidney... She may have been... a recipient of donated kidneys as a child with some of the special mitochondria um <laughs> do you like the cage um but actually if i clench clench my butt cheeks together uh then it's like my crack has a mohawk it's not wiry it's not you know i'm sure some people would like to stroke it um but it's like <laughs> you know it's uh I don't know. I'm sure it's... I'm sure, like I say, I'm sure there's hairier dudes out there. But, um... Yeah, no. I'm not... <laughs> anyway, we're talking about my butt crack. Um, it's not unusual, yeah. It's like, it just it seems to be extra hairy in that particular area. Um, but, you know. It's what it is. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, we... We're running around, going here, there, and everywhere, trying to deal with uh, Eve. They've evacuated Manhattan. So only people in the city now are the army and the police and trying to deal with Eve. Um, and we uh, we went back. To, she basically has attacked the police station. Cause I guess she knows we're after her. Um, and we've gone back there to go and essentially save Ben 
Uh, ben is Daniel's young son. Um, and um, we don't want to get him killed or turn into a monster, basically. That's where we're at right now. Um, yeah. It's, I mean, the number of people you got to get. They did also say, Seven, that because it's Christmas, there's a lot of people out of the city visiting family. But still, it was chaotic. There's car crashes and stuff and all sorts of stuff. Um, but yeah, let's get into it, folks. I've been jibber-jabbering enough, but, you know, don't don't stop. You are more important than the game, however interesting and cool this game is. Oh, we need, to we need to camel me, don't we? I know that's not. There we go. Ooh. I'll just uh, assume the position. Jeez, getting some airflow up in here. My God. Um, right, okay. We've already got some sound. I just haven't turned it on yet. Why? There we go. I oh, mean, I'm on cam. I was about to say looking good, but, you know. I know Seven will disagree with that, but it's not for me to say. Here we go. It's all uh, got a bit hectic, hasn't it? It, I wonder how dark the game will go. If if the game kills or mutates a, a little boy <laughs> and we have to kill him, uh, that's going to be um, pretty dark, I feel. We'll do what we can. Shiva, are you okay? Yeah, she's all right for now. Ben, get away from that dog. All right, Baker's just grabbed him. Let go! Shiva's sick! Shiva's gonna turn into a, a scary monster. Stop! Don't hurt Shiva! She isn't Shiva. Eve's got, got to turn her, turn her into a monster. A uh, monster? Close your eyes, Ben. Oh, uh, Baker is actually doing something useful. Oh god, she's as well. Okay, good call. Oh my god. Oh dear. Horrifying. Oh my god. Wow. Only slightly disturbing. And pause out a second. Yo, Dan's, how you doing there, bud? Um Yeah, yeah, Ryan, he just chucked out some gift subs. Um I don't think you picked specifically uh, Dan's, but um, you were one of the, the five people. So um, you have a little chocobo for a bit, buddy. How you doing, sir? I hope you're well. Uh, Michael Twigsy, the graphics as well. It's um, it, and that kind of trans transform transition transformation scene with that doggo turned to monster. That's very reminiscent of um something you would see in Resident Evil. But it's almost like they've <laughs> Square's gone. Let's take it to the next step. Let's have the dog's head split open, and then there's another head, and then there's some tentacles, and then some extra teeth. Let's get some spikes on the tongue. Let's <laughs> they're doing it all. Um, yeah, chocobo's only for emergency rations. You got to look after it, but if you're about to starve to death, then that's um, that's fair enough. You're not touching him. Oh, it's going hero mode. Now we do know actually that Baker and Daniel are um, old buddies, so it makes sense. Damn it! I'm out! Ah! Well, we're not out. We've got like about 200 rounds. Oh, we're not. We've got a few fights there before we get there. Oh dear. So, the thing I'm noticing about the um, the machine gun is um, because you're firing so many bullets, uh, with so many rounds in one uh, one attack, you can 
and uh, you know if if you get attacked and interrupted um she finishes her uh, attack round so you can actually be she can actually be stood there taking damage while uh she's trying to still shoot that's maybe not the best um Kenny Alara, how you doing there? Welcome on in. That's a nice little uh, heart emote you got there. Let's have a look. That's very nice. Um, are you a fan of this game? <laughs> Kevin, also emergency rations. I don't know, I don't recognise the character. Is that uh Paimon? I don't know. Tell me seven. Um mm. Clearly, Twixie, clearly. Okay, got a decent amount of XP. So, although I'm very much enjoying the machine gun, I feel there could be better... Uh, having a different type of weapon could be more useful. But overall, it's, I'm still happy with it. I just have to be very careful about our uh, health situation. That's all. Can we go in there? We can. Okay, I don't think we need to go in here, but... Might be supplies. Yeah, there's a lab tech. Ah! Please, help me! I stepped outside and those things were all over. You'll be safer here. Don't leave this room. Okay. Hey, you're hurt. I think I have enough supplies to treat you just once. Oh. I should have saved my freaking pee energy, shouldn't I? Uh... No, but I'll come back to you, maybe. Idiot. <laughs> I, should... I said an idiot. I didn't know, did I? I didn't realise. Let's see if there's anything else in here. God, the music makes uh, everything very uh, tense, doesn't it? Dramatic. Um... Oh, it's a, it's a Genshin character. Okay, I see. I see, Seven. Um, excellent. Kinio, yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's, yeah, it's really rather good, isn't it? But yeah, I'm glad you're good. I'm, uh, I'm very well as well. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Um, so I don't think there's anything in here. But yeah, I'm glad you uh, enjoyed it. It's, um, it's like a... I understand it's like a cult classic, but I just never got round to it. I never had it as a child either, so uh, here we are on day three. So I don't know how far through we are. Okay, you got anything else? Yeah, no. Um, God damn it. I wish I'd save my freaking pee energy. I, I'm not going to be coming back to this room. I'll just take the heal. Yeah, that's my own fault. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, we're playing uh, on a retro pie, Kenny. Uh, unfortunately, um, this is the uh, best uh, option we've got. What is this, bro? I'm not going to make it. Take the stuff in my locker. What? Locker key. Excellent. But now is... The locker that way, or is the locker this way? That's the question. <laughs> I guess it's this way. Probably guess wrong, didn't I? No, maybe. I don't know. Oh my god! You're the one that got Torres. I don't know how she knows that, but giant werewolf thing. Oh, trying to get behind it there. There we go. Boom. Oh, what do we have here? SG-550. Let's have a look at this. Ah, right, so basically, um, if you, um, 
Uh, Kenny, have you heard of Retro Arc at all? That's like the architecture. So basically, it's um, it's like software, and the Retro Pi is like a physical device that's made into. Cause that's like your two options. You can run it through that, uh, and then you can put it into its own like hardware, essentially, which is what I've got. So I've got basically a little box, um, which kind of just essentially functions like its own little console. Uh, of course, most emulation is probably done through PC with separate emulator software um um yeah and you can yeah i've seen all sorts seven that people take old like minis uh old uh consoles you can house it in anything mine looks like a bespoke uh n64 mini mini <laughs> if not that's a thing but uh yeah but uh it's, uh, I, d I didn't make it myself, I just bought one, and uh, I'm very happy with it. Anyway, let's have a look at this gun. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is another assault rifle. It's more attack power than the machine gun. The magazine's only slightly less, and the range is way up. I feel like this might be better than what we've got at the minute. I do feel that might be the case. Um, and we, I think we do have a tool as well, don't we? And take all those bonuses and put it on this instead. I want to risk it. I've, I've got a good feeling about it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, what, let's have a look at numbers. So 40, 110, and uh, 21. 40, 110, 21. Yeah, so uh, two points of range. Can I sit here? Three points of magazine and seven points of attack. Kenny, of course you can sit here. Thank you very much for the uh, follow. I appreciate that. Um, do you stream frequently yourself? And they said you when you started the stream. Metapod just casually coming in, letting us know he's eating coffee cake. And not for breakfast, of all things. I'm not sharing. Oh my god. Uh, nice, nice, uh. <laughs> like your, uh, dino emote there, can you? Um, Brayden! <laughs> it's, <a laughs> it's that one game about mitochondria. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true, Brayden. How you doing, bro? Are you alright? Um. Right, let's give this, uh. Let's give this gun a go. I've already equipped it, right? Yeah. Okay, I've got a good feeling about it. Anyway. Oh, okay. Defense bonus for our armor. Nice. Alright, this is, guess this guy's dead, isn't he? I'm getting help. Hang on. I... It was too late. How could this happen? I mean, I uh, you know how this happens. <laughs> um, oh, oh, okay. It's definitely not where we're supposed to be going, I don't think. Oh, new armor, eh? Let's have a look. I know I've just used that bonus, but. Yeah, overall, far superior. It's got to be, hasn't it? Maybe I can uh, find a, a special tool later on to uh, break down uh, our uh, SP vest. Okay, so this is not where the guy's locker was. This is just like a separate room, isn't it? By the looks of it. You're getting ants coming in. Yeah, you you if you uh you skip that. That's that's normal, buddy. When you uh when you pre pre roll ads, you can't turn those off, unfortunately. Um, I hope you well there, Everett. Um, I'm good, Braden. You hanging in there, buddy? What's going on? 
Uh, all right. So I've, um, I don't know about the content of Heavy Rain, but I've heard it's a pretty good uh, story-based game, Kinia. So I hope you enjoy that. But yeah, if it's too much for you, just bail on it. You know what I mean? Stuff like that doesn't really uh, bother me so much. Queen Tomboy. Hello there. Welcome in. God, look at... They're your emotes. Sharon. I don't know Sharon. But Sharon's got some nice emotes. It's like... It's like... <laughs> it's a little unicorn. It looks it's a little bit like a ghost to me as well. Um... Uh, oh, sorry, my opinion on them, Everett, on Twitch ads. Um, I don't like the new thing they've done, Everett, with the uh, giving you more money for ads if you have the, um, if you run them automated. Ads are fine. I believe they should be manual. I run ads when I take a break. So if I go and pee, I go and make coffee, I will run ads. I don't expect anyone to watch them. Uh, I don't expect anyone to hang around. Just get a few pennies while there's no show. I hate ads uh, that uh, are just automated that just pop up uh, during the show, Everett. Um, uh, you know, everyone runs their own, own channel how they want. It's not for me to judge. Uh, if I could turn off pre-roll ads, I would. There's no option to do that, though. So I'm not a fan of them. There's a time and a place. The time is when the show... He's not running when it's on a break. That's when you run ads. You don't want ads popping up randomly in the middle of the stream. My opinion. Um, uh, right. Okay, I didn't know that, Kenny. I know the game is not banned from Twitch because I've seen... I, I've no, I, I have acquaintances and friends who have definitely streamed it. Um, uh, okay. Interesting. But yeah, uh, 18 plus rating, yeah. They won't do anything. Okay, yeah. I know I've been somewhat concerned about that. Like, because obviously, like, even even as a man, I can't pull out my boobs on uh, on stream, can I? Uh, and if you're female, you certainly can't. But um, there's definitely some video games that show, like, naked female boob, don't they? Um, however briefly. So I wonder what how what trouble you'd get in if you like streamed those games would you get in trouble i don't know it's, it's an interesting thought anyway moving on with uh, the game uh i know society's some bullshit well you know seven you can pull them out anytime as far as i'm concerned i don't <laughs> doesn't bother me uh scotty <laughs> I hope you're well, sir. Um, pork steak? No, don't burn it, Brady. As long as you stay with it, you won't burn it. Just cook it low, low and, low and slow. Right, okay, let's um, get around this thing. Spider, okay. Yeah, this gun already seems good. Although we've got slow debuff there. Oh my god. And defense down debuff as well. Oh my god. Ow! About for a little heal, I think. Uh, there we go. Now, which way? No, that's clearly the way to go, isn't it? Clearly. <laughs> you can just tell by the camera angle there. It's just where this bro's locker must be, surely. Sea Star? <laughs> How you doing, Sea Star? That's literally one of the games I was thinking of. The other game would be... I think it's the first Metro, second Metro game. It's like just clear, naked booba. Just like, oh, there you go. You see those not not for, you know not hanging around for long, but clearly unclothed, uh, and clearly very apparent what it is. 
Uh, and obviously, but you know, both those games have pretty good modern graphics, so it's like not, you know, ain't like um. And if anyone remembers, like J Duke Nukem, the 3D, literally, you know, any game that has 3D in the title, <laughs> kind of gives you uh, an idea of how old it is. That had um random ladies in uh in the strip club, 2D, um, animated gifts basically, uh, <laughs> which was a big deal back in the day. Um. Uh, really, Kenny? I, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm not doing too well at the game. I'm getting through it, but um, uh, are you doing Sea Star? Are you well? God of War One has them in every single cutscene. Oh right, yeah, that's funny. That seven. I was uh, planning on starting that series. No, not really. <laughs> um, all the boobage. Uh, cage. Not even in this game. Uh, I'm going to get a little hydration here for Brayden for a second. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, I don't see that it's, it's... It's kind of... It's kind of weird, isn't it? That that's considered, like, indecent exposure. That's, which is, in most places in the world... That there is laws against that. Pulling out female boobs in public is part of that, and that is a criminal offence. You're criminal if you do that. I don't see it as a problem. I think uh, if people... No, most people don't want to do that. Most people want to keep their boobage hidden. That's perfectly fine. But people who do want to just pull them out, I, I feel that should be fine as well. I don't see that's a problem, right? Now, I know the ar part of the argument is, well, you know, that would be very distracting for people and stuff. Well, if it was normalised, people would get used to it and it wouldn't be, wouldn't be so distracting, would it? You know? I don't know. Um, C-Star, don't worry. You just All that matters to me, C-Star, is that you're living your best life as best you can. I'm sorry you had a bad week, my friend. Um, yeah, we finished Red Dead on Friday. It was freaking fantastic, Sea Star. My God, such a good game. We um, I think we did everything, and we we spent the time with John at the end of the game doing all of his stuff. Um, and then we did like a few bits and pieces. We did all that, the legendary hunts, all the legendary fishing. Uh, we tried to meet up with some of the uh old gang members to see how they were doing because they were just like hanging around uh and then we finally we finished up we went spoiler alert anyone doesn't want red dead redemption 2 spoilers leave right now before the following thing i say you've had your warning uh, finally we went to uh arthur's grave and had a little uh had a little drink shared a little drink with him um and then we left it there fantastic game Mm. Yeah, we did all that. Very satisfying. Very satisfying it was C Star. And it's like clearly it takes it like r literally right up. <laughs> exactly right up to the start of the first game, doesn't it? Yeah, I know you know. Just just in case there was anybody here who is not familiar and cares. Um but yes, thank you, Braden, for the uh hydration there, young man, keeping me alive. Greatly appreciate it. Boom, let's go. Um, <clears throat> it's quite legal in places. <laughs> Doesn't bother me, Seven. Um, is there lockers here? I don't know. It's got to be a thing, isn't it? Oh. God, these little spider bastards. Oh. Just walking into them like that. Oh, damn. I didn't two shot him. The enemies do kind of just like randomly wander around sometimes though. There we go. Nice. Much to my advantage. <laughs> Get lost, burb. There we go. 
boom level up level 17 get our stats up there cool we got a bonus point as well bunch of stuff let me um i right, spend a bonus point i still want more uh item capacity there must be an upper limit to that Tidy up the inventory a little bit. Music's so cool and dramatic. Expect nothing less from Square. So, I mean, this is... <laughs> this is like the morgue, isn't it? This is not the locker room. <laughs> so where's that bro's locker he was back at? He's like, yo, here's the key to my locker. I don't know. Uh, what is it about Seastar? Um, as a game, basically take uh, the vibe of a re an old Resident Evil game and give it turn-based combat. Uh, made by Square. Um, that's kind of what it is. Uh, what is going on? My God, there's uh, this weird entity called Eve that can turn creatures into monsters and uh, can spontaneously combust people. Uh, and it's all related to mitochondria. And our hero, Aya Brea, uh, police, police officer, new, is set in New York. Um, she seems to be immune to it. Um, she's somehow related or has the DNA of. Uh, it's all a bit of a mystery at the minute. Uh, currently, the city has been evacuated and only the police and the army are still here and things are kicking off. We're currently in the police station trying to save the young son of our partner, Daniel. There we go. I think that's basically summed up. Uh <laughs> Yeah, Kenny, yeah, everyone was saying yesterday, this would uh, benefit greatly from a remake and would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah, Eve, she's interesting, to say the least. I don't know where the locker is. And that's not supposed to, like, backtrack loads. I don't know. Let me just, yeah, here we go, I'll just do a little heal. We have to kill Shiva. Aya! Aya! Uncle Baker's hurt! Uh, Shiva got big! Riven's Law? Is that right, bud? Damn! I did not know that. I wonder how long they'll take. God, yeah. Uh, you must be a you must be a fan. Uh, do you mind to call you Rye for short? Um, this uh, it's right for it, isn't it? Because it's a freaking good game, but having that modern uh, remake touch would do uh, wonders for this game. Um, yeah, but look at these graphics. These graphics are freaking excellent, Cage. So, enough of that out of you. <laughs> um, Shiva. Look at the size of her. Okay. Uh, I just need to be... We should be fine. As long as I'm careful. Keeping an eye on... Um, Iron's hit points here. Oh, Ben. Bless you, Ben. His little heart. It's not Shiva. Shiva's already dead. Oh, bless him. Yeah, at least he's... Aya, please, don't let her turn into a monster. Well, a bit late for that, little lad, but... Come on, I'm the one you want. Oh, my God. <coughs> Three targets, eh? Okay. Oh, dear. Okay, I just walked into that there. <laughs> 
All right, we're about to get yeeted. I'm going to um, go for a barrier quickly. I've never used that before. See how good it is. Oh, my God. Hard to get murdered here, folks. I'm not doing a good job of uh, staying out of the way of this. I need to... Um, let's pop a medicine. I want to do a little scan before I start going on attack. I don't have enough P energy, though. But unfortunately, there's nothing you can actually do to recharge your P energy, I don't think, apart from just letting time uh, tick, tick along. So I'm going to just... What's full cure do? No, it's just the status ailment. I'm going to, um... I guess I'm just going to try and go on the attack now for a little bit. All right, so we've got the head. One, two, three. Okay, I've got all the heads. I guess we'll uh, shoot that one near that. I don't know if that's in the middle. Okay, I think that's the middle head. God damn, I don't have a clue how I avoid that. Hmm... Oh my god. Guys, I'm about to get yeeted up in here. Aye, aye, aye. Um, I'm going to try slow. I guess it'll work together, don't they? That would definitely help me a little bit. If it, if it sticks, if it works. It doesn't help that I uh, just kind of runs around slow as all living hell. Oh my God, we are boshing through these mes medicines right now, folks. Let me tell you. Um, I don't know. I don't think that slow did anything. <laughs> um, oh dear. Um, let me try for a scan. Just tell me anything useful. Hit points? Question mark. <laughs> Oh, it just healed itself. Oh, my God. This is... Uh, <laughs> uh, you can jump. Can you jump? I don't think you can, uh, Brayden. Oh, my God. Um, oh. Um... That was a waste of time, wasn't it? Uh, okay, I guess we'll go for a barrier. Yeah, so definitely... Uh, it seems like a good use of P-Energy. Kind of. I'm not getting absolutely yeeted now. My God, this is the toughest thing we've fought in this game so far. by far. Yeah, I'm stuffed in a corner now. Oh dear. Oh dear. Holy hell. Um... That, going for the bloody heal as well. I guess I want to go for the middle target first. I 
think that's the one doing the healing. I don't think I'm going to make this, folks. I don't know um, really the, what the best strategy for this is. Some just about to run out of all these medicines. Yeah, I don't know if anyone's got a <laughs> Ryan. If you're there, you got any advice, buddy? Uh, just like half of your freaking hit points there. Right, I'm gonna have to do this over, folks. Honestly. I think we have to re revive there. That's not good, is it? Aye, aye, aye. Taken down one of its heads. I try not to die now. Offer no promises. on the ground now, folks. Oh, okay. I, th I think there was just one head left to go. I think. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's going to be like that in a second one. Clutch! <laughs> Completely rinsed all of our items. Talk about clutch, though. <laughs> yes, it's fine. Everything's fine. My God, sorry, I just can't jump in because then I level up. My God, thank you, Twixie. Jeez. It's, yeah, you can't dodge. You can just move around and try and anticipate where to go. Thank you, Sea Star. I, don't, <laughs> I guess it's worth it. I guess I could have done better than that. And, um... And, like, save some medicines and stuff. We've got a bunch in storage, though. But I think they're all, like, level one. Um... Right, thank you. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Right. There we go. Level up. Level 18. God, I need those stats. And got a new gun. Almost too many guns, but that's fine. I wonder if uh, handguns are generally better. Thank you, Mel. My God. How scary. Jeez, Louise. You're right, lads. There's nothing in there, is there? Aye, aye, aye. Ben, Captain. Aya. Aya, Uncle Baker's hurt. Ben! Daddy! 
Ben, are you okay? Uncle Baker was protecting me. Captain, thank you. Remember when Ben was younger? God, I mean, he's like five years old, so... <laughs> uh, used to all play at your place. Sir, cut that out. Baker is fine. Like the old times. Good old times. Shiva. Ben. Aya, whoever did this to Shiva, you get him, right? Yeah. Yeah, I will. We will indeed. Um. <laughs> See, stuff. <laughs> That, here we go, day four. Conception. You save your progress. Okay, I'll do a save. I'll do a save on a separate slot, just in case our supplies are so have run so dry now that I've kind of... Maybe I've, like, not soft-locked ourselves, but maybe I've done myself an injustice by uh, doing so poorly on that boss fight. Um, but let's press onwards. Kenny, you got ice cream. What I, what kind of freaking ice cream have you got? Ice cream is my, literally my favourite. Uh, he does. Yeah, Daniel. He's uh, a <laughs> he's rough and ready, uh, hard boiled uh, New York City police detective with a stonking stash. Mel. So, <laughs> uh, so I should I should not have known. Um, we're playing this on Retro Pie. Uh, uh, Braden, but it is a PS1 game. Um, you know what? Uh, see, sorry, it rained here last night. It's cooled down a lot, but yeah, that summer is still. Magnum? You got freaking Magnum there, Kenny. What? Uh, <laughs> is it a, a classic? White chocolate? It's not one of the uh, layered ones, is it? <coughs> anyway. Uh, ahem. Uh, people. Come on, Daniel. You're in charge now. Oh, Baker's out of the fight now. Okay. Daniel's stepping up. Yeah, well, I'm not used to this sort of thing. You're doing great, boss. <laughs> but why did Eve decide to attack the precinct? To get rid of us? Maybe that Japanese guy knows something about it. You're right. Where'd he go anyway? All right, well, let's, let's go find out. Is the answer. I bet he's snooping around the criminal ID lab on the third floor. <laughs> I don't know why he bets that, Daniel, but that's fine. I'll be fine. Besides, I promised Nix at the hospital that I'd settle scores with Eve. Yeah, you would. Oh, no, okay. We'll start fixing up the office. All right. You get on with that, fellas. Right, okay, let's, um, let's have a little look at... Uh, this gun we've got here. Got a lot of rounds. Pretty nice for a... Uh, for a handgun. It's got three shots as well, which is always handy. Every time we find a new gun, and it's an upgrade, then we like almost immediately find another new gun. Yeah, I don't know this... Strictly, it's the only th thing it's got over the uh, our uh, new rifle, of course, is um, the fact that it fires three shots per turn. So I guess that's more DPS, but um, what's more important, your DPS or your uh, conserving your bullets? I don't know. I feel you get plenty of ammo, so I don't know. I doubt there's much in the office here, is there? I found that, that bro's locker and gave him that locker key, didn't he? Bless you, Cage. Well, thank you for being here, sir. You, you go and enjoy your lunch. Oh. Ah, well, there we go. That should answer this question, then, shouldn't it? OK, 
Okay, as soon as I can't open these ones on the side. Oh, I did that one. Trading card. Now, it was Wayne who said he wanted um, gun trading cards, didn't he? Maybe he'll give us something for that. All right, cool P. Yeah, not all of these are opening, like um, some of the other lockers we've seen can before. I sit here? Medicine 3. Queen Tomboy, thank you for. Of course, you can sit here. So, wherever you like, my friend. I um, I appreciate that. Thank you. So, um, yeah, it's still very warm, Braden. It's, uh, like I say, it rained last night. Uh, so, it's cooled down a lot, but it's going to need more than that to uh, sort us back out. I can already feel it warming up again. Um, God, the place is a wreck. Don't worry, Seven, he'll be back. You got me. I know I'm, I'm no substitute for Legion Cage, but, you know, you'll survive. Don't you worry, Aya. I'll be looking after this place for Torres. You leave all equipment tweaks to me. Turn in my way now. No permit needed. Oh. Okay, it would be nice if you could bring me some gun trading cards if you see them lying around. Hey, I may, <laughs> I may not come close to being as good old Torres, but you can trust my work. So what it'll be? All right, okay, well, um... Um, heh, I don't really have one yet. Okay. <laughs> I want to give you the card, buddy. Give him some junk. I think we had one piece of junk. Two. Yeah. Um... So we're going to store item. Presumably not. I don't think that's the uh, way to go, is it? Necessarily. Um, let's um, I don't know. Pull out the level. I think there's only the boss fights that are really like a massive issue. So I'll just keep that level three medicine and the f the full cure, I guess. I'm up, kind of slightly upset we had to use our revive, but so be it. That's the way these things go, isn't it? Um, Right, I guess I'll store this, and I guess we'll store that handgun we picked up. We uh, have no tools, though. I'm going to uh, tune up weapon. Ah, okay. So he's just changed. So he's <laughs> him saying, I'll do tune-ups for free. He's saying, actually, I want you to give me trading cards. Uh, <laughs> mm. I guess we'll stick with this for now. I don't know if it matters too much. That's the only thing about the, um... The, uh, the the crafting upgrade system in this. There's like more upgrades that you want to do that you feel you need to do than you have the like essentially materials to do. So you kind of got to just pick and choose. And because I don't know what, because I'm playing the game blind, I'm just kind of just winging it. So I don't know if I'm doing the what's for the best, but here we are. Here you go, nothing to it. Okay, well, we'll see. Um... Right, okay, so we okay, so that's a rare trading card. Okay, so we need to keep an eye out for those. Alright, you take Eve down. Do it for Torres, alright? Yeah, we'll try, buddy. We shall try. I think there's anything in here of importance. 
No. Um, but we've got this room back here that we can't go in. Maybe this is for later. Oh, no. We unlocked the door. We're allowed through here now. Okay. Oh, MP5. Interesting. Three shots. Ah. What else have we got? And a tool. Hmm. An offense plus one. God damn it. <laughs> Again, I feel like maybe you get new guns too quickly. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. Not concerned, but um Mm. Having a that third shot definitely be helpful. So the thing about the range, even the long, the difference between the long and the half range seems to be, it doesn't make that much difference. Seven. I'm just going to sit on it for now. I think that's what I might do. Actually, from this point, we'll stick with that rifle for now, and I will stash. Ammo doesn't seem to be that much of an issue. Now, I don't want to speak too soon. I assume the game is going to get harder as we go along. So I will just probably just stash every, anything I'll find, any guns, and then the more we get into the game... Like, for example, I, like half of me, if I am from the range, I'm tempted, oh, let's use the tool and switch over all our stuff from this assault rifle to that MP5. Uh, ten minutes from now, I could find an even better gun. So then I've, like, wasted a tool. I've wasted that upgrade thing. So I'm going to, um... I'm gonna just going like, to stash everything and see how we get along. Okay, I wasn't... Oh, I clicked on the wrong bloody thing. <laughs> there we go. Um, there we go. Um, I'll stash the little... Uh, the items as well. Okay, and I assume I'm not going to need the storage key and the locker key now. I guess I'll hang on to the Hamayo. Uh, yeah, so that. We'll move that. We'll uh, store that there. Um, and see what we can make later on in the game. We'll see. I'm, like I say, I'm just, I'm kind of just winging this as we go along, folks. There we go. It might be in our best interest. Now, we know that the game has six days. So I could at least get, wait till we get to day six. I assume it will still allow me to be at the police station and, and take care of a few bits. Uh, so I think that's what I want to try and do. And see if we can make like one really good gun towards the end. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason to go in here. It's the conference room, isn't it? It's right. Oh, there is though. Random uh, chest. Oh. What's this armor? What's that auto ability? How do I check what that is? That's arguably on a bell. Overall, I feel. Even without the uh, auto ability. So we're losing a bit of defense, but we're getting extra uh, P energy and we're getting uh, more 
I don't crit crit uh, dodges you know whatever uh, it's not whatever it's good but so how do I um how can I uh look to see what that auto ability is doing I don't know it doesn't tell me anyway uh I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with it see how we get on Not sure exactly where it'll be. That's the uh, interrogation room, wasn't it? We kind of uh, think it's much in there. That's the oh, uh, random office. Whose office is that if that's not Baker's? Unless it is his office, but he prefers just to be downstairs with the other detectives. Don't know. did you guess this kind of place makes me think more clearly hey Maeda why did Eve attack the precinct what I want to know is why Eve didn't show herself this time I felt her presence here but as soon as we arrived she was gone it could be a distraction. Distraction? What for? Is there a sperm bank or a hospital that conducts artificial insemination nearby? Sperm bank? Well, I don't think Eve's body will last much longer. Oh. Right now, the mitochondria are just parasites in her body. So she's trying to create this ultimate being like she did in Japan. I'm afraid so. So if we can stop her from getting there, she'll die eventually. I think a doctor at St. Francis Hospital specialized in artificial insemination. Let's go, Maeda. Hey, what about me? <laughs> You're captain for now, remember? You've got to look after the precinct. Oh, all right. Here, take this then. Oh, a bunch of ammo. Cool, excellent. I appreciate that, Daniel. Right, okay, hence the hospital now. Let's go. She, she's probably already there and kicking off and um, this monsters are around. What's wrong? You're awfully quiet. Um, oh, uh, uh, I wonder why Daniel didn't come with us. He said he's going to get the dirt on Clamp. He also wants to be with Ben. Oh, yes, of course. Maeda. Yes? That creature that was born in Japan. What happened to it? It died along with the scientist that was its father. How did a monster like that die? 
There was a rebellion. The mitochondria passed from the far from the father didn't connect with the ones passed from Eve. It began to deteriorate, and the father held onto the, the dissolving flesh, and they died. Oh, okay. Even that's a monster. I guess it's still your child. Hmm, creepy. You've got good news and bad news, uh, Brayden. All right, let's um, give us the bad news first. So we can uh, end on a high. Or, or it's up to you, which order, but... All right, St. Francis Hospital. Guys, we've got to um, run out for a second anyway and take a break. So I'll um, I'll probably uh, just make the coffee as well while I'm at it. Here it is. This hospital. It's hot. Looks like Eve is in there. All right, okay. You wait here. Aya, take this. Oh. Are you okay? A good luck charm. I'm not supposed to, like, manually use these in battle or anything, am I? Just hold on to it, okay. It's a bell to keep away bad spirits. Just hold on to this, okay? Thank you, I'll keep it. I'll try using it in battle. He gave us another one, didn't he? But, um, bad news is you burnt yourself. Good news is your pork steak tastes like freaking amazing. <laughs> We've all burnt ourselves, Braden. Live and learn. As long as you don't, you don't burn your freaking eyeball or, um, you've got to rush to hospital. I assume if you type in, it's not, it could be worse. I burn the inside of my mouth all the time because I'm a freaking idiot. All right, guys, um, it's a little early. I've got to run away to pee anyway. Um, and I could definitely go for coffee right about now. So I'm just going to roll it into one. We'll do our three-minute break right now. Um, there we go. Perfect. Well, the think of the burning brain as a le lesson learned. Whenever I do stupid things like that, I um, it's like longer. It's a long time before you do it again, if that makes sense. <laughs> Sphinx! King Udon! Hello there! How you doing, you two? Are you well? Good time, in it? Uh, I said good time. I'm literally about to go on a break. <laughs> I've got only be three minutes, though. Um, no, indeed. Indeed. You did say you would stop in, King Udon, and you have indeed. Respect to you. Yeah. Uh, it's all good. Hey, bless you. <laughs> yes, I will be but three minutes, guys. But uh, I hope you're both well, and I'll come back and speak to you properly in a moment. Um, yeah, I've just got to pee and Get make coffee, King Udon. I won't be long. I'll be right back.
Right, sorry to keep you waiting there, folks. I'm uh, returning to Connie Two's. <laughs> Thank you for uh, getting the bots. Flat Earth Channel. I mean, I suppose that's um, got an appeal to some people. <laughs> Thank you, Sphinx. And how are you doing, Sphinx? Are you well, my dear? I hope you're good. Um, all right, let's uh, get in this hospital then. All right, he reckons Eve's in here. Very ominously quiet. Better have a gander. There we go. Yeah, tool. Nice. Oh, telephone. Better save it. And pick a move and it should be. I mean, I can't prove that the earth is not flat. It's just I feel that that's not that's just not a thing, could you know what I'm <laughs> Um But uh yeah, no, I don't know. The thing is, Tubes, if I uh do any research on it and I start like looking into what they're going on about, I'll go down a rabbit hole, not in the sense of um believing them, but uh just being fascinated by them and what and what they believe. And I just don't have time for it. Uh <laughs> it's pretty warm, is it, Sphinx? Um Excellent. Nice. Good on you, Sphinx. Yeah, I'm pretty well. I'm pretty well. It's good it, it rained over here, Sphinx, so it's like cooled down a lot today. But I don't think it's gonna last. I think it's gonna heat up again, you know. Um This is what it is though, isn't it? Uh Okay, I don't think there's a... Uh... Anything over here is there? No. Alright, oh, it's got doors there, a corridor there. I guess we'll try the doors first. It's locked. Okay, there we go. Answered that. It looks like we're heading this way. Yeah, I've I've heard of them doing stuff like that, tubes. It's, it's... And you know it's a kind of a problem when uh, you like here we go we're going to do this scientific experiment. You, they proclaim what the result is, the result proves them wrong, and then they go oh well, and then they just start make up something to. That's not science. Science is to accept wherever the evidence takes you, even if you don't like the answer but um i wonder what that is that thing where you just want to be right that you're willing to lie to yourself just to feel like you're right i don't know but yeah it's, cr it's crazy too <laughs> oh what's going on here oh there we go ghost girl maya or was it just my reflection as a child so it definitely wasn't your reflection <laughs> um yeah so yeah so we find out the ghost girl isn't her it's possibly her twin sister isn't it um so we've got elevators here and i assume you can get into both of them what's it say? ah you need the green key card okay let's um go through the doors first it's locked okay Got two locked doors, an elevator requiring a green key card, and an elevator we can go into. So, yeah, Braid. <laughs> so I put it for a crazy amount of points. So I didn't think anyone would ever do it. But then I thought about what if someone actually saved up. And I, like, imagine if someone had the points now, Braid, and want to do it. That's not fun for me or everybody who's currently here, is it? Just as like an ultimate flex to be like, ha ha. So I got rid of it basically. Um, yeah, I saw that, uh, sea star, uh, I think, I don't think Aphelene actually believes it, but she jokes like she believes it, um, when I went, when I flew to Greece, uh, and I've flown further places, so I don't know, you think the, the more, the greater the distance you travel in a plane, the higher the plane would go, um, 
but yeah, for some reason, the the time I flew on a plane to Greece, um, the plane was so high, looking out the window, you could, yeah, you're right, this thing, saw the curvature of the earth on the horizon, you actually see it, like, curve and drop away, you know, like, blah, what, you know, like, it's kind of quite mind-blowing when you're like, but I'm trying to think, how old was I? I think it's probably like 11, 11 years old or so, 12 maybe. Yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty damn cool. Um, maybe younger, in fact. Um, yeah, af afu joke. Oh, it's just the windows. <laughs> the windows are like that on the plane, so it looks like that. <laughs> um, Oh yeah, the thing with the flex leaderboard, Braden, is it's um because it's done on on specific numbers. Like if there was a one redemption to get the top of the to put yourself at the top of the flex leaderboard, would it be one flex above the current leader? Then it might be a lot more or less points. If that makes sense. So yeah, I just have to get rid of it. Um. Anyway, all right, are we going up or are we going down? What are the options? No options. Just there's just one button there apparently. <laughs> oh, Eve is here. Going down. Oh no, the elevator cables. Uh, oh, she's cut us. Crashed into the basement. That was. As elevators falling. <laughs> that was fairly gentle. All things considered. <laughs> Oh, I guess we're stuck in the basement now. Night, night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. The power. Oh dear. Oh. Eve's trying to trap me down here. She's cut the main power line. Oh, great. One out of failure is broken, and without power, the other one is useless. Indeed. So that door's locked. Got a dead, <laughs> dead elevator, a broken elevator there, and an elevator without any power there. Okay. Let's um, see if we can find the way out of this situation. Right, okay. Let's, um... Couple of doors, I'll see. What's that shiny? A fuse. Okay. Oh, this is just some kind of uh, very basic storage room. Ammo, perfect. Just what we need. Speaking about ammo, I was about to reload, but it's a bit late for that. What are these things? I'm trying to maintain my distance here. Oh. Right, okay. Three shots will do them. They seem to be a terrible. Sh Terribly inaccurate, though. Relatively speaking. Oh! Let's walk into it. There we go. Right. That's apart from when you're shooting, of course. Another door there. Oh! Maya, wait, it's me! Why are you dressed in those clothes? You must be cold. She's clearly a ghost. She's not the smartest cookie, is she? <laughs> Thank you for the lurk, Sea Star. Greatly appreciated. Oh, a grenade launcher, eh? Double shot. Okay.
Huh. Part of the thing is these the little icons. Some of them are obvious, like the two times shot. But I don't know exactly what uh, that symbol is. Similar to the other grenade launcher we had. Not the same though. But I didn't see the benefit of it. I didn't see what it was uh, really doing. Who knows? But anyway, let's um, do a little heal. Let's run around on full uh, P energy. Um. I'm just going to go back this way for a second and check the other door next to this and see if it uh, links up into that same corridor. Yeah, this door here. Or, uh, nah. It's the same corridor though, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Okay, let's check this door. It wasn't really Flat Earthers being yeeted, uh, Scotty. It was just uh, a bot with the name Flat Earth Channel that uh, Tubes got rid of us for us. Oh, I probably want to shoot that flying thing first, no doubt. Oh my god, what's it doing? Three shots. Okay, good to know. Good to know what we're dealing with. bonus for some armor again we're not going to use these we're just going to save them cool we're getting some decent medicine okay is that a door it is okay if I want to go that way, yeah. Okay, yeah, it connects up. I see. Autopsy key. Okay, cool. I guess we'll do it. It wasn't long since we did another save, but we'll do another one. music's on point I'll tell you that for nothing Need the blue key card to hit that. Okay. So it's locked. Yeah. Okay. And that's at the end of the hall there. Okay. So we've been in that room there. It's the storage room. That is the medical room there. We've got the locked door, and that's the locked door that we just saw uh, Maya's little ghost walk through. Oh wait, hang on. Let me just check um, those lockers there. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> so, um, that's something I've just learned. You don't need to click on doors to go through them. At least not in the hospital. I thought we did in other areas earlier on, but I could be mistaken. Oh, hope you enjoy your stay. Am I taking too long? Am I in a bit of a hurry here? I hope not. I just wanted to check these lockers here. 
Yeah, if you just walk into a door, you go through it. Okay, that's not anything there. Has she changed or broken something? Okay, so we've got that door there. I just want to see if this corridor goes anywhere. Yeah. Oh! Did she just wreck that? That's what That must have been what it was, surely. Oh, have I missed something? Because I didn't go this way straight away, possibly. Unless that was like that originally. Okay, who knows. Doors unlocked. Ah, okay. It seems this key is no longer useful. I discard it. Alright, you do that, my dear. Fly boys. Oh, did I not kill it? A third shot should have done him in. Okay, so four shots for these. Unless you, I guess I was, I must have got a couple of crits possibly. We can't obviously can't rely on a, getting a crit. So four shots for those weird fly things. Level up, excellent. All right, enough bonus points there. All right, get some get some medicine drops as well. Yeah, I, d I definitely want to put points into uh, in increasing our active time, but I think I feel supplies of any and all kinds are more important. So I need to, oh. and unless there's like an upper limit, uh, which I kind of hope there is, because then I can reach that upper limit and not worry about it. Oh, gun of fence. Another tool, nice. Yeah, isn't it so long and thanks for all the fish? <laughs> God, I, I don't remember if I've even seen it. It's got a... Uh, yeah, that's what I need. To, there's always something. I'm like, what am I? What am I doing right now? What am I doing? I'm... I'm trying to re reload my fucking gun. There we go. I might um do some research on this game after today's stream and uh, kind of get an idea what the best weapon type is considered. Oh dear, what the bloody hell? Nice, okay, there we go, we're done. I'm going to spend the time to do a heal, because uh, obviously you're... Um covering uh, PE, P energy in uh, combat, aren't you? So, 
a decent rate as well but to be absolutely honest that's not as good for a full heal and these things are fairly easy to uh get around aren't they there we go nice Welcome back, Legion Cage. What did you find? Your regular sushi place. God, that's the land of the free there, folks. Where you can have a, a regular sushi place. <laughs> Is it something nice, though, Cage? That's the question. Ooh, there you go. That's the blue key card on the dead body. Unfortunate, but... There we go. Armor upgrade. shiny the second fuse okay so we've got blue key card and we've got two fuses what's this radioactive is that biohazard this is like the incinerator maybe It's just a Chinese buffet that has sushi. It's just a Chinese buffet that has sushi. <laughs> um, bourbon chicken. That doesn't sound Chinese to me, but uh, it sounds fantastic. Uh, but enjoy. Enjoy, Cage. I'll live, I'll live vicariously through you, sir. debuff is like a, a slow debuff isn't it i just um there we go nice i think a, a trip maybe a key to this game is um the combat is watching the enemies understanding how the enemies attack and move and not just because you're ready to use an action or attack don't go for it immediately you know look for your opportunity except then when it's uh that's all good It's giving us plenty of medicine. I'll give it that. And so it's fair, the game's very generous in that regard. Like all those supplies we lost on that, you know, fighting Shiva. We're, uh, we're kind of back up on it. Sphinx, hydration. Thank you. Let me get on that. Yeah, no, definitely. Definitely it counts, Cage. That's the thing. These variations. And the, th the thing is... American Chinese food 
British Chinese food. N none of it's anything like actual Chinese food. It may vaguely bear a resemblance, but it's not actually authentic at all. But it, well, who cares? Who gives a flying fizzle? It tastes freaking amazing. Bring it on. Stuff it in my face. And also the Chinese food. Um, <laughs> sorry. Thank you kindly, Sphinx. Do appreciate it. No, it sounds so I guess it's it's just like a sweet sauce. That's my favourite from uh Chinese. It's um Chinese curry. Uh which is very legitimate and its own thing and very different from um Indian curry, obviously. Uh it's its own thing. Some people go, Oh, why do you want Chinese curry? That's not real curry. And I'm like, Yes, it is, and it's different. Uh yeah, love me some Chinese curry. Or whatever Chinese curry is over here in the UK. God knows if that matches up in the U <laughs> to real or American Chinese curry. I don't know. Um, or as a as a uh, other standard, anything that's got... It's got to have sauce, sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy combo, whether that's um, Kung Po or uh, Szechuan. You know, terms like that, they're kind of interpreted differently by different people, aren't they? Even it, 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 even in the same cultural demographic, that's what I usually find. Szechuan or uh, or Kung Po usually fall under the uh, yeah the terminology for what I'm after. Maybe there's other things as well. Is Nibcon 2036? If we make it 2036, we'll definitely try and have a con. Uh, Braden, I don't know how or when or why but that would that's like another that's 14 years away so if we're still going strong 14 years from now i'd like to think we could uh we could arrange something like that yeah that's um yeah cage exactly exactly it's just i do wonder this certainly is a co with chinese takeaway takeout here in the uk if you get china a curry chinese curry how special curry it's basically gonna be the same thing some might be a bit tastier some might be a bit more spicy um depending where you get it from but you the flavor is essentially the same and that's uh of great appeal to me so i wonder what it is yeah it is con 14 years from now i don't want to give any promises Braden. but you know if we're still going strong in in the 16th year of the uh, Isnib show, then uh, I'd like to think we should be uh, able to do something like that. Yeah, like, t yeah, Thai curry is definitely its own thing, isn't it? Thai red curry or green curry is um, very different from either Chinese or Indian curry. And both, very, you know, I, I like both a lot, but, yeah. I'm, uh... God, I don't... Know. I, eh, I, oh, can I say, folks, I've never met a curry that I didn't like, and I could eat curry every single day. This is true. It is known. Um... Oh, the compound. Yes! Yes, Cage. Indeed. Indeed we will. Although, I'd like to think if we were at the compound, it'd be more kind of the conflux con rather than is con but you know we'll see we'll see we'll see how it pans out um here we go so we're using our key card presumably there we go seems this key is no longer useful i'll discard it you go did that aya because she knows that isn't it is flux con <laughs> the confluxing <laughs> Indeed. Indeed, uh, Tubes. We're all about that. Uh, <laughs> oh, you got some lag, do you think? Welcome back. Yeah, I think everything's all right on our end. Um, guys, I just noticed I'm on the wrong freaking scene. Habit. 
There we go. That's how we're doing it at the minute. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> I, uh... I'm so used to pressing a certain key and I just didn't bother to check. There we go. That's better. Um... <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> uh, oh my god, it's uh, it's Maya. Yeah. <laughs> Maya, wait! Don't leave me alone. Too late. She already did. She's a ghost. Yeah. No. Yeah. Cage. We did this yesterday. It's just um, plus how uh, it's been on retro games. It's just I'm so used to hitting the other button. But, uh, I didn't notice when I came back off my break. M10 machine gun. Seven shots. My God. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm a massive fan of machine guns. I like the rifles and pistols a bit better. Okay, I just want to double check where we came, came through there. Another tool. So technically we only need tools to number us moving our parts across. Okay, I think once we finish in the hospital and get back to the police station. I'll um probably sort armor out first, because I think there's only one armor that we've got pieces on. Although we probably want to leave that if that's the case. Because obviously each each time you move we should use tools. Essentially, we want. It's no, there's no issue with have putting the upgrades on um, any one item, but you kind of want to get all of your all your weapon upgrades on a single gun, um, and make sure you have one tool spare to move it to all to the ultimate weapon. Uh, and same with your armor. Um, and I think we've so to say. Because we don't have any tools we're going to get through the game. We don't want to run out and have all our bits and pieces all over the place. I think that's what I'm getting at. Um, no, I think that I think that's correct, Braden. I, I think, unfortunately, they're not allowed to twitch. Or the internet. Or freedom. Or or the illusion of freedom, even. Balthier, good day to you, sir. How are you doing? <laughs> Great people. And his nib. It is nib as well. <laughs> uh, I, I appreciate that, Balthier. How are you doing? Hey, Braden, eight months, buddy. Perfect. Um, how are you doing, sir? Are you well today? God, that lemon cheesecake you showing off the other day, Balthier. Good golly. Uh, much more appetizing than this thing we're about to fight. Oh, it's in pieces. Okay. Oh, it's regenerating. I see. I should body instead, I guess. Oh, I've taken a few hits here. There we go. That's a, that a weird creature. I don't really know, really know to, what to make of that, but never mind. Well, right, let's uh, reload our gun. I don't need much of a reload. Um, I'll do a little heal. There we go. Oh, god, yeah. Some of the f some of the food you share with us, Balthier, gets me hella jelly. But I'm not not a lot like jelly, as in you know. I don't want you to have it. Oh, inventory's full. Okay. What can we do about this? Now, we already have upgrades on our gun, don't we? Yes. And quite a lot. So, we need to move those anyway. So, I might as well... Yeah, I might as well use this just to make some inventory space.
I've got upgrades on all these other guns as well. But yeah, just to make some space. I might have to do the same with the armor as well, but we'll see. We'll see. Fuse number three. Okay. Yeah, exa exactly, Cage. Yeah, you want, yeah, you don't not want Balthier to have it. You're just like, oh my god, I wish I could have that too. Okay, I think that might be everything in here. Not much of uh, anything apart from that fuse, but obviously we do, we are going to need that. Hmm. And, uh, unless I'm mistaken, this looks like a fuse board here. Oh no, the main circuit breaker is torn apart and some fuses are missing. But we have three, we found. Aisle. Oh, no more clip there. Nothing good. Yeah, uh, toggle the power off, please, before we... <laughs> Repair the wires. And she's sticking back together. There we go. Perfect. Insert a fuse. I think there's just a door off to our right as well. Now, I assume this... Um, this power the elevator? There we go. So we fix the wire. We put all the fuses in. Let's switch the power back on. Ding. Perfecto. We've got the lo okay. We've got lo the proper lights on again. Oh. Right, just one of these things. Is it? Ow. Nice. Nice and easy. Easy does it. So it's all connected up now. Got ya. Excellent. Good to good on you, Balthier. Getting after it, bro. Oh, I appreciate that, buddy. Oh, Balthier, is there any number of things you could be looking at, watching or listening to, and you're doing your cycling, you're hanging out with us. Sir, I appreciate it. Uh yeah, <laughs> it's about fear. It's a superhero. He's looking after us, Cage. Don't, uh, don't ever doubt it. So, does that mean we go in this one? This way? No? Is this working now? Yeah, okay. Maybe. I thought this, this is the elevator on the other side. I don't know. Change the perspective. Right, okay, I guess we're going. Oh, this one's working. We're going back upstairs. Uh, <laughs> turn the power on, Braden, and try and fix those wires. I, I do wonder. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Ryan, so that's what I'm wondering. In a single thing. Yeah, yeah, got ya. Right, okay. I need to think about this carefully, don't I? So, am I right, Ryan? When you use a tool to move components from one gun to another gun, it moves all of the upgrades and it moves all of the, uh, the slot bonuses, assuming there is an empty slot to move it to. Am I right in understanding that? Raspberry and white chocolate cheesecake. And then... Yeah, I could... Th my problem, Balthry, is I wouldn't want one. I'd want the whole cheesecake. That is the issue. Um, 
Right, yeah. So I think that's... I just got to make sure I have enough tools so I don't, like, cock it up, uh, Ryan. That's the only problem. Yeah, <laughs> about it. <laughs> he didn't know. He thought I had him captured. Um... Ah, okay. Cool. Excellent. Thank you, Ryan. Maya and me? Yeah, indeed. Right, here we go. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at all these. I've got a lot to deal with there. Oh, nice. Double crit. Ow. That was poor timing, to say the least. Level up. Nice. Excellent. The stats going up. Uh, dropping off a bunch of this stuff. Maybe it's not worth it at the minute. So I think. I don't know if we've got the best armor here at the minute. So, um. Oh, there you go. That's what it tells you. Auto medicine when hit point is low. Now, is that instead of your turn? Because that's freaking amazing. Uh, so, if I look at the um, the nor the end normal armor end jacket there, it's got one empty slot, but it looks like the little box around it that it's got space for three more slots. Whereas, obviously, the CM vest here. With its auto uh, medicine, has got only one space for one extra slot potentially. Yeah, I'm just I'm just winging it basically. Um, No, no, we should literally just start this yesterday about there. Oh my god. Um oh it's two discs, is it? I need to pull out I didn't realise that. I thought it was a single disc. Um Brian, I'm gonna need to pull out my uh, notes on the how to uh switch discs on the uh on the retro pie. <laughs> so now you have to like click a bunch of stuff, but as long as we um we can figure it out when we get there. I've got some notes and stuff. Um Yeah, I think we're right for the minute. Basically, is what I'm trying to get out. So we'll just do a save. I was no, I was basically considering going back to um, 
the police station to go and um going and uh, unload a bunch of stuff but i think we'll be all right for a minute Wait, did i reload uh ios gun i did and we'll get on health all right moving on don't worry i won't uh i won't be doing that about the red mage how you doing red mage you right there bro what's going on sir how are you today? You. Ugh. Okay, cool. We good. We good. I don't know about you two, but I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Mrs. Newsbum, what about your medication? It's no use to me if I'm dead. Eh. You okay? <laughs> <coughs> You're over 9,000. Excellent, Red Mage. I'm pleased to hear that, sir. Um. Yes, thank you. However... A nurse is trapped in the other room. Could you help her out? Yes. Yes, I could. <laughs> Although, um... I do have a lot of stuff at the minute. <coughs> oh, sorry, yeah, my um, bonus points. There you go. Yeah, so that's what I want to use, is use the tool on that one, Ryan, to put the times seven slot there. And does it replace the times two? I guess it would. I wonder if we should just do that now. It needs to be done at some point, and that is a machine gun. I'm not really f feeling the, uh, the random attack pattern of machine gun. Let me try it. So you're choosing the stats or you're choosing the rate of fire i didn't realize i was just there we go so we go yeah there we go time seven will be moved and the machine the m10 will be lost are you okay yeah i'm okay with that there look at that good call Ryan. yeah let's go with that for now so we can preserve that time seven to if we even if we move do move to a different gun in the future whether it's a handgun or whatever, we can move that over. Um, what I want to look at, though, I guess, is... Um, there we go. Ah, add tranquilizer to bullets. That's what it is, trank. But we don't know what that means. So <laughs> it's kind of, it doesn't really matter. But I'm happy with that as it is. So we get seven shots for one turn rather than two. Smashing it up. Um, I'm going to look around to see if anyone needs medical attention. All right, you do that.
There we go. So I should be able to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Right, I don't know I'm suddenly doing much less damage. So is that Is that how it functions? It spreads your damage across. That shouldn't seem to make much sense to me. You see what I'm saying? Because then it's like there's no point in having more shots. In fact, you'd be better off having a single shot. I don't know. It's, um that's got it's one of those debuffs got tagged with. I would have thought so though. That's just um slowing you down, isn't it? Ugh. Oh, fuck God. Yeah. Okay, weird. I just seem to have done... It just seem to be what it's done. And that's causing my freaking death. <laughs> hmm. You think more shots would be not the damage split across all your your attacks, but what do I know? Eh? Oh, okay, he's dead now. Right, okay, there we go. Let's get a heal in here. Unless it's more damage total. But it takes more time to do your attack, though. So it's like... Yeah. Like, we're, all that time, we're vulnerable to attack ourselves. So it's kind of hard to see the direct benefit of it. I don't know. Oh, I've got a new ability there. Haste. Oh my god. We'll take advantage of that. When, when, as and when we can. Oh my god, poisoned again. Ugh. Yeah. Nice. Definitely should be making use of that, shouldn't I? I'm against, not against these little cranes, but... <laughs> Seems to be like a disadvantage to have more shots. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to do some research on this later. Um, I'm, at the minute, I'm just going, oh, more numbers. That equals better, doesn't it? And it just didn't make any sense at all that that would be how it functions, honestly. I'm not trying to, like, bash the game. Ugh. Oh, my life. Ah, indeed. This room. I've seen it before. Indeed. Um, I have, I've not played the series, Balthier. I've played Human Revolution, the Deus Ex that was on the Xbox 360, and it's a freaking fantastic game. Um, it's on the list. Yo, <laughs> Light, how you doing there, bud? Yeah, yeah, a little bit different to what you've, <laughs> you've seen on the channel before. Yeah, best graphics. Uh, <laughs> um, how you doing there, bro? Do you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying, though, Cage. Here's a, an attachment for your gun. The gun currently fires two shots per turn. Here's an attachment which allows you to fire seven shots per turn. Yet each shot does less damage. The total damage is reduced. Now, based on how you move in the game, how the combat is, and how you need to keep moving and avoid 
touching the enemies and avoid their attacks if the, you have a total amount of damage that is divided by the number of shots you have then it's actually beneficial to take more shots uh, sorry less shots per turn so i've just put this plus you know time seven shots on my bloody rifle and i've actually done myself a, a mischief by doing that the only exception to that is if you had like a really high crit rate because you're having more shots more chances for crits we did get one or two crits there and the crits are severely reduced in damage as well so it's like have i actually f myself in the a by moving that across uh that's i don't know it seems weird that sh i feel that shouldn't work <sighs> like that way certainly not in a game where you're actually using a literal gun to shoot reducing the damage of each round with an upgrade uh yeah it is it is apart from what you just heard me say there like <laughs> it is it's a very good game i'd never played it till yesterday either it's been on my list for a, a good long time um it's the total damage isn't but if i you know if i punch you once cage and it does x amount of damage and then I, oh i punch you seven times it takes seven times longer and the total damage is the same it's I can't say for certain, but just roughly looking at the numbers, it does seem that it's literally divided. You are, by definition, at more of an advantage to have less shots per turn, then. You see what I'm saying? Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you want to get your glasses on, Cage. <laughs> it looked uh, 100 damage. I didn't look that. It looked to me like when we're doing single shots, we're doing like th between 30, about 30 damage. Oh, actually, I suppose if we were doing about 30 damage, weren't we? And now we're doing like half as much. So actually, if you look at it like that, I suppose it is more total damage per turn. But you are just stood there being like vulnerable. That's the only issue. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, yeah, no, no. Hypothetically, punching cage. <laughs> um, Fifty sit ups. My God, no, that's, we're not. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, Balthier, we won't worry about that. Uh, <laughs> um, you do, but if you say if I assign all seven shots, regardless if it's one or multiple enemies, she's stood there for more time and i believe your you know your uh recharge your atb's not charging while you stood there doing your attack so i don't know eh, i don't know if it had, i don't see why it should reduce the damage that's what i'm saying um anyway i'm getting hot red mage is like wait i uh, you already were don't panic <laughs> um i know i've been here before but why what's i doing here get experimented on by uh dr clamp probably all right so that's maya her little sister or twin sister there we go Hey, you didn't realize you had an interview, buddy. You're going after a promotion. I did eventually had an interview. I don't know. Well, good luck to you, Cage. I bet you smash it, bro. You. I thought I was done for. Thanks. Glad to help. But you could help me even more by telling me where the doors next to the elevators lead. Um, to the storage areas of the hospital. That's where we keep oxygen tanks and our main supply of liquid nitrogen. <laughs> what do you use your li liquid nitrogen for? I don't know. Here. <laughs> Take this green key card and find out yourself. I'm not staying to see what happens next. All right. Green key card. Excellent. We got it.
damn cage after that promotion well if they don't if they don't offer you the job cage um send them to me and i'll have a go at them now that's going to cause some grief um uh, Mega Man X is on the list, uh, Balthier, and producers are welcome to add other Mega Man games to the list or vote on it. Um, but it's, it doesn't have any votes currently, so who knows when it comes around. Thank you. Everyone's either dead or evacuated. I think I'll choose the ladder. All right, well, off you go then. <laughs> Um, is that everything in there? I guess so. Let's reload the gun. Aha, there we go. Right, more armor. Let's have a look. Let's check this armor out. Mm. So yeah, more defense and uh, at least that P energy though. More crit evasion. Yeah. Well, um, I think we'll stick with what we got for the time being. All of the Mega Mans. I don't know. You, you kind of suggested that some of them weren't that good, Cage. I see an uh, impression I got, buddy. good uh, guess on the number of bullets though so um the atb is charging while she's attacking let me rack these up watch it is going up as she's shooting so in theory you can like shoot continuously i guess so if there were any enemies that kind of yeah so actually so maybe it's this is for the best I literally don't know what to talk about but yeah that's <laughs> Yeah, it does actually technically seem better, I suppose. Okay. Yeah. So with the seven shots and the rate of fire on the rifle, assuming, aside from needing to avoid attacks, you can just stand there and shoot constantly, I guess, technically. <laughs> In theory. Uh, I want to definitely need a heal or two or three. Okay, let's do another little save. Uh, and we're doing on uh, items. Oh, we're on full items. It might actually be worth. Um, okay, I'll just probably put these on our armors, maybe. I should go drop them off. Um, I think I should go back and store some stuff. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's... Yeah, exactly. That's what it seems like, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just because I was getting, like beaten up a little bit <laughs> stood there shooting just taking attacks but um i think overall it is for the best i'm just gonna just store some stuff a 
uh, particularly if you um, had an enemy that was uh, easily stun locked, it would definitely help. Although maybe haste is not as important for a weapon that's got seven shots on it. But uh, I don't know if we've got any junk. What are you talking about? No, ain't got any junk. <laughs> I'm sure we got a boss fight, but I'm just gonna um hope for the best, I guess. Um let's go to that. There we go. So I wanna store these tools for now. I have to come back and get these if I um if we get in if we're when we fight for uh Shiva there, I have to use a lot of medicine. But um, it's um in fact if I save uh do an extra save uh here. We've still got plenty of storage space by the looks of it. Yeah, three tools. Nice. No, I'm trying to reload. We go. You've got all these uh, weapons. I'm wondering if overall a handgun is like the most, like you, probably the. Not the highest damage overall, but maybe it's got like the best. Um, I don't know. Anyway, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, uh, Ryan. If you, it seems like with those seven shots on that rifle, that the yeah, your ATB gauge is already up. By the time, you know, so you can always uh, attack continuously. But yeah, no doubt haste is important if you have a different weapon, which we don't know what we're going to be getting to end game. So we shall see. Oh, oh, he's got something on his desk for us. Excellent. Some ammo. Medicine. Okay. I'll just hang on to that one for a second. Oh my god, that coffee's gone right through me, folks. I'm gonna need to take a six to in a second in a minute. Let me um let me get back to the hospital and save at the front desk. I've run out for six seconds. My tiny little bladder. Chain myself. <laughs> The load times are pretty decent. Folks, sorry about this.
Right, here we go. Oh. oh, there you go. God, empty bladder. Necessary. This you... <laughs> I ain't getting dehydrated today. That's for sure. Right, onwards. Damn, see, seven shots of one of these. It's uh, still freaking alive. I assume it's uh, almost dead. No, it wasn't. See, so go, and then I'll get myself poisoned. <laughs> I've stood, stood in place for too long. Ugh, oh, idiot. Oh, run out loud. Okay, far more manageable if there's uh, only the uh, the two of them. Oh dear. Reloading. That's an issue. <laughs> the only, I guess, another downside of having your damage divided, of course, is, um... Ugh. My life. It's terrible timing. I think I feel like I might get used to this game by the time we finish the game. <laughs> uh, of course, there's um, running potentially running out of ammo, but you have to use more ammo to get the same effect. Um, but. Uh, I think the game's kind of set up in a way so you don't really run out of ammo for the most part. Can you tell me why the hospital uses liquid nitrogen? Well, for many different things. You can use it to freeze off warts and such. But it's lovely. But its main use is for research. It keeps the sperm bank from spoiling. Sperm bank? Oh my god. How do I turn it off? Well, there is a valve that you can turn off in the storage area. Why? Sorry, I don't have time to explain. By the way, which floor is the research lab located on? The 13th. Thank you. I'm going to look around, see if anyone needs medical attention. Okay. All right, head up to the 13th floor, eh? And there's our green key card slot. Ah, oh, okay. We're discarding that. Okay, I thought it was going to open the elevator, but maybe not. big boy have we oh my god 
There we go. Let's just stop on his tracks. Ugh. Okay, it wasn't it wasn't too severe of damage. Ooh, that was though. Jeez, Louise. Okay, so has that uh, turned off the liquid nitrogen? I guess we still want to go up to the uh, research. Well, she's already going to have got there, where else is she? I'm sure. Lost all that. Nothing for us to do anything with. Okay, so I think that's it in here. Hmm. So now I guess we just take the elevator up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my life. Try and get a bit of space. That's um, not an option. <laughs> oh, what have I got myself into here? Is that even going to be enough to destroy these? Ah, I got poison again. No. Oh, jeez, folks. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna. Um, this will be the first time we're gonna do this. I'm trying to escape from. Can't escape. Okay. Yeah, I think I. Uh, it's because. Uh, oh, jeez. Infinite bounty balls. So, like, eh. Not ideal, is it? I think I just might let myself get killed there. Oh, what was that? Oh, the freaking auto medicine. God damn it. Can you um exit out of the game? No, that's an you can even you maybe maybe you can do that from the main menu. the armor we've got that's not gonna uh, work for us i've got to just stop being a bitch and try and fix this mess i've got myself in ugh 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 give me some space some space oh my fuck my life 
Sorry about this, folks. <sighs> God. Too much on screen for little old me, folks. Ugh. I wonder if barrier stops you getting poisoned. Probably not. Then both shoot. There we go. Ugh. I right, just hope that's the other one I shot. Originally, it doesn't seem to be. It was. Okay. Thank God for that. At least we're not going to make this mistake again if we get in the same encounter, are we? Oh, there we go. Okay. Doing minimal damage there. So far away. There we go. Ugh. Gotta kill the balls, have I? <laughs> Can't have that. <laughs> Okay, I learned an important lesson. That's that's what life is about. mess wasn't it yeah I feel like it might be Ryan yeah like it's not necessary because you've got your AT ATV back anyway so you're not actually benefiting yourself hi 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 so we wasted one decent medicine there doing all that such is life Another rifle. More range. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, what's she looking at? Oh, there we go. Some bloody random switch behind. Okay. What did that do? Ah, open that door there. Okay. There's something down here. Let's go. Hey, you feel like that mess was your fault? I don't see how, Ryan. It certainly wasn't. Uh, <laughs> okay, I want to. I got a little ball thrower. Okay. Let's go and get rid of this guy first. I'm going to get slapped around a bit. A lot.
Uh, right from the thing. bouncy ball first and it's doing less damage but run through that gap there. <laughs> I could not run through that gap there. There we go. Cool. Yes, these guys seem to stun lock pretty well. There we go. Okay. Learn another lesson. Level up. That's what matters. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, turned it around just about, Remage. Uh, I, um... I feel like maybe handguns might be the, uh... The functionality terms that they haven't got the um, craziness of uh, the machine gun with the super short range and um, the random element um, but they've got a little bit maybe quicker rate of fire actually maybe work better in a situation like that but we'll play it by air I'm committed to this uh, rifle for the time being At least until we get out of the hospital. Cool. Have a little armor boost there. Well, that cage looks slightly different graphics to the rest of the others. <laughs> so I'm like, huh? That's a thing, right? I mean, what kind of hospital is this exactly? I don't know. Never mind. Moving on. Um, Braden, just about. I'm probably not making things easy for myself. But yeah, I feel like we're just about winning. Alright. Got to be the, big, the rat thing first. Just have those freaking explosions around. seems that this thing can only put out a uh, up to three of these bouncy balls. There we go. Oh, four. All right. <laughs> All right, I see. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, try and fudge our way through the hospital and then we'll reassess next time we go back to the... Uh 
police station, see what's what. Now, of course, there's, you, there's an argument to have different guns, but I don't know. Like, on you and switch in, in mid-combat, but I feel that as they all use the same ammo type, it, that doesn't make really too much sense to do that. Oh, sorry, I missed that. What should say? Uh, artificial sperm development staff? Hands? Hands clamp! Dr. Clamp! Artificial sperm? Alright, what? What is this? Junk. <laughs> it wasn't just junk, obviously. Hang on. Let's sneeze once again. Echo! <coughs> Crying out loud, sorry about that. Um, oh, yeah, it's um, made by the same people, Braden, so that does make sense. Um, the HLA list, Ben's and Lorraine's names are on here too. It's the same list that was on Dr. Clam's computer. What's he trying to do? These are the patient records, Marico Brea. That's my mother's record, December 23rd, 1977, taken in with May Maya Brayer after an accident, pronounced dead after cardiac arrest. Maya Brayer, the daughter. The next page is missing. It's somewhere else. Okay. Does Maya even exist? This is the question. <laughs> thank you, Braden. I, I appreciate that. Uh, thank you, Red Mage. <clears throat> Melissa Pierce. It's got to be that Melissa. December 23rd, 1977. Emergency hospitalization. Right, okay. Operation successful. Right, this is clearly something happened with Aya's mum and Melissa. After six months of hospitalization, released. Needs medication from hospital. Melissa and Maya were brought into the hospital on the same day and operated on. No, it can't be. What is this? Elevator key, okay. Now, I would say, is any sane parent going to call their twin... Uh, well, I don't think they're twins. Uh, they're... The daughters, they look like twins though. They say twin daughters, Maya and Aya. I don't know. I don't want to make assumptions, but <laughs> um, interesting. It's slowly coming together. Yeah, I think we're moving on from that save. I'm not going to go back to that. Yeah, it's, I don't know, uh, Braden. It's a bit of a weird, weird situation. When we get to the end, I'm sure the story will be completely revealed to us. But for now, I'm not fully getting exactly what's going on. It seems his key is no use for us to discard it. Yeah, indeed. Indeed, I. Uh. Sphinx, don't go crazy. You don't have to exercise every single day. But good on you. Do three days in a row. That's very impressive. Where are we now? Admiral on a warship? I guess. The fighter jets, prepare to launch. Head towards Central Park. Remember, no unnecessary attacks. Target the enemy in the air and be alert. Manhattan's practically deserted. Why don't they just... No, Lynch. We haven't received orders from the president to attack yet. At this point, we need to look for the missing people from the park and warn the city.
freaking graphics. Pushing that old PS1. Oh no, an empty container from the sperm bank. Careful, make sure you wash your hands after you touch that. Oh, on a random wheelchair. Yo, Wolf! How you doing, Cage Wolf? Are you alright, sir? Alright, if we just left then oh. oh no we're up on the roof oh you know what that means don't you folks mini boss is this what this is this kind of like a chunky boy doesn't it let's try s slow If it work. Oh! I want to get a little bit closer. Yeah, I've got to know near it. Oof. Right, so this thing wants to try and keep its range by the looks of it. Oh, that's no good, is it? Does it maybe stun lock it? No. I'm bothered. Oh, 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 okay, well, it's not, um... Oh, God, she... Do you want to move, then? Okay. Do you want to stay close, but not too close? Dear. That could be far more damaging, all things considered. Guess we'll uh, maybe try and barrier. Ugh. Oh, that saps your uh, P energy. Oh dear. That fireball does a uh, lot less damage than I thought it would. Okay, we're just stuck on the spot. I think that's what the issue was there. There we go. Oh, fuck my life. Right, we're getting slapped the actual around now. point trying to move if you can't move is there ow oof lucky ugh Do not want to get stuff there like that. Oh my god. Seriously. Ow. Oh, 
spider webs next. I want to stay the actual away. There we go. A freaking fireball. Get tapped by that. Of course we do. Oh, I get myself fucking webbed there. My God. <laughs> I'm going to go for a barrier, I think. Ugh. That web lasts a long time, even after it's... Um... Oh, for crying out loud, just walking myself into it. Uh, Wolf, you're doing all right. I'm, I'm not bad. Um... This game starts to have it, have its way with me. <laughs> um, you reckon, Brayden? That's not not a bad call there. We'll have to wait and see. Right, we're out of uh, medicine practically. That's one eighty, so I want to kind of save that. So I really desperately need it. Now this this rifle is long range, so imagine if we had like a anything else. There was um Oh F in the A F in the A Oh yeah, three damage. Oh yeah. So yeah, you need to like wait for it to get close and then the problem is that and you get a few hits as it's backing away, but like, not very much damage. And obviously eat a fireball. Yeah. The seven attacks with a rifle is not the way to go. Maybe handgun might be alright. I don't know. Definitely not the rifle though. Oh, there we go. I guess we've done it, though. Awk awkward boss there. Oh, we've not finished. Okay, we've got more to do. Oh, he's going to go for the web again, isn't he? Ugh. Oh, we do, um... Got a bit of P energy back, though. Get some shots in quick. Or try to. I mean, she's got to be so close that. Oh! I probably should be using some of that for haste, honestly, but. And I'm like, yo, we need uh, heals. Up and in. <laughs> I think I'm doing so much healing, it probably wouldn't hurt. Oh, damn, that haste is strong. Ugh. Mmm. Oh, wow. I, I missed that. Let's try and tank here for a second. Well, I'm never going to kill this thing. Ugh. This is... Very awkward boss. Oh, spiderwebs coming in. Oh, I can move at least. Oh, what was that? Oh, giant spider web. Okay, that's new. Is he almost on his way out? Is that what that was trying to signify? I 
want to use this. Uh... Oh, freaking hell. I thought I used it. I thought I had one more, uh... one more medicine. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Pray to the RN Jesus right now, folks. Because uh, I got precisely dick right now. RN Jesus came through right there, folks. <laughs> Holy hell, this game. <laughs> I'll, I'll like it takes you to the limit i'll tell you that you're like oh my god i'm fooked i'm not gonna do this and then you scrape on through my god liz how are you doing liz you're all right <laughs> okay so um f decent prediction there um brayden i thought you were gonna be right buddy he fell through the freaking roof i level up god we desperately need that heal three my god excellent 280 hit points and a fancy handgun. Nice, maybe. Aye, aye, aye. Having your dinner, Liz. Are you, are uh, you, um, you work in a minute, my dear? Oh, God. Don't say we've got to fight Eve now. So, you found this place. You're going to use the sperm to give birth to the ultimate being. You're a bright one. The first rebellion took place some years ago on a far-off eastern island. There, my sister committed a fatal error. I'm higher in the evolution chain than my sister. I will never commit the same mistake. You're not my... Right, okay, so... I'm guessing, basically, Maya was used as uh, genetic material, essentially. I finally caught on, huh? No! You feeble organisms depend on machines to do all the work. Stop! Fighter jets, yeah, here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh dear. Oh dear. That not good. You've just witnessed the limitations of humans. Please, no more. What if I don't want to? It's a shame we couldn't understand each other. My god. The jet! It's gonna crash into the roof! I've gotta get out of here! Uh... Okay, which way are we going? I guess we're going back the way we came. Oh, it's not gonna kill me. The elevator's broken. We're just jumping, yeeting ourselves down that hole there. If he goes and kills me now, that'd be freaking tragic. This way? I can't seem to get across that crack there. This way? Thank God for that. Oh yeah, that sounds good, Liz. Sounds good. God, making me angry. Oh. Oh, my God. No friends. Oh, no, the brake. All right, fighting spiders on the uh, this elevator, are we? And we're almost dead, because this isn't, like, quite the problem here, folks, honestly. I better do a heal just to try and not be game over. 
Well, it might be game over anyway, honestly. We'll quickly get this attack going. Hope this is enough to kill it. If they keep coming, though. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay, that's one, at least. Hopefully that's just that one. I'm oh, shitting the brake, huh? Oh, my God. Yeah, ex <laughs> yeah exactly, Ryan. Over here, my dear. Aya. We don't have any time. Eve got away with a sperm sample. You know what I mean? Not just the sample. I think she... I think he... I think she used it already. You know what I'm saying? Um... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you for saving me, Daniel. You can study all you want, but you gotta brush up on other things too, man. Like, punching people in the head really hard. No girl's gonna wanna be with you if you're gonna be like that. <laughs> not, not true. Not true. Um, wh what? Please, I, I... You could be married and have kids for you know, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, is everything okay back at the station? That's the thing. I found out several things about Clamp, but... In the past, a doctor from that hospital was fired for giving out a patient list. A list? You mean like the one with the HLA listing? These guys have access to just about everything. I've got other info too. This is what I heard from Werner, who was up, who was onto Melissa. Is onto her? What's that mean? Um. She was seen going into the museum late at night on several occasions. They had no reason to be looking into Melissa before what happened for the initial incident. Eve, she was going to the museum. We need to go there. We must get there before the being is born. Calm down. We're there, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> um, um, you're right that they crashed into the roof. Uh, Braden, but they didn't kill, they didn't attack the creature. The creature just fell through the roof. Don't know why. I guess the roof was weakened in certain area. Maya. So did she actually have a sister? I guess she did, did have a sister and she was, uh, like I say, used in the experiment. Which I guess that's what the novel was. Covered everything. I heard the captain saved Ben's life. Cheever was his partner when he was a rookie. Must have been hard for him to shoot her. Maybe. Right, let's see if we can fix up a different gun. Might be might be somewhat useful for us. Right, um. I'll, oh, I think I'm always at the point of not needing to worry about item capacity, but I will put one more point into it. <laughs> Excellent, thank you, Red Mage. I don't know what the consistency of the voice acting has been like in um for this game, but you know it's good enough. Uh, are you asking, uh, Liz or, uh, or me, Everett? Excuse me. But yeah, I'm, in, in general, though, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of beans. There's not much that I can think of that are a bad thing about them. Um, right, let's, uh, let's, um, see what we can do with all of this um
so it is a handgun. Okay. And then we've got another rifle there. Hmm. Um... Yeah, I, I, um, <laughs> coffee beans, yeah, no, definitely, but, uh, general, whatever, you know, any kind of non-specific beans, yeah, I'm, uh, I think they're excellent, ever, not, uh, not for or against, um, right, not tune up, it's the tool, tool up, here we go, so I want to look at the tool menu is what I'm supposed to be doing. Here we go. Wow, that's handguns go. That's got pretty freaking uh, amazing base stats. But yeah, that boss we fought there, even with the like 112 range on our gun, imagine if we had a lot less than that, that'd be a bit of a problem to say the least. Damn, look at the um look at the amount of sl potential slots on that assault rifle though. Um <clears throat> Let me have a little look. Just want to see what the internet say. Uh Parasite Eve Best Weapon type, not a specific weapon. Um, um, Interesting. It's hard to, uh, Get a definitive answer. Yeah, rifles have the best best overall strength and range. Uh, I guess it. I guess it doesn't matter. Guess we just go with whatever. I'm going to delve into this. It seems very uh, 
are very opinionated as well, which is um, not ideal. Ah, um, let me um. Let me go ahead and pull everything out of storage. Which is, uh, that seems to be the only way to look at it. Um, can't look at the stats while you're in the storage screen. It's very annoying. Just taking my guns out. I'm not really not liking rifles now, having what we've <laughs> what we've been dealing with. Uh, Okay, here we go. Yeah, that should give us our uh, comparison there. Okay. Uh, sort. Here we go. Uh, potential tune-up. Here we go. Here we go. Right, yeah. So, so 48. So, I guess each weapon type of funk its base function is the same um five eleven Yeah, so I think the G23 handgun might be the best handgun we have. Yeah, by far, by the looks of it. So I might try take, taking that, um, it's got th th three slots potentially. I just feel the rifle just shoot, you know, just fires too, a little bit too slowly. It's a bit of an issue. Okay, here we go. So let's just, yeah, I've got three tools. Okay, we'll go, um, we've got all the stat bonuses as well. We want to move from that. So this, um, Let's just do it. The worst that can happen. Um, oh, I lost all the stat bonuses. I didn't know. That's, that's the only other issue. We're going to say, yeah, we'll save all the stat bonus increases. So if we need to, if, so you can, so each time you use a tool to move, you can either choose one of its, all of its stat bonuses or one of its, um, one of its, slot upgrades so if we want to carry this time seven uh slot upgrade i don't want to put any stat bonuses into this gun or any other gun until we've got whatever our final gun is so i guess i don't know what that will be i guess i'll just take a look on day six and then come to some kind of conclusion um Ah, I'm wondering what that super tool thing was, which we, I guess we've not come across any of those yet, but it does both, does it? Gotcha, Ryan. So we're just going to rock this handgun at the minute with that seven shots, decent stats, and see if maybe it, that just feels a bit of a better function. Um, 
Shame you can't just break down the, these guns you no longer need into uh, other things, but never mind. Um, so I think we're right with our armor. It's a shame you can't just like these crappy handguns that you can't just trash those just for junk or something. Okay, I'm learning as I go along, folks. That's uh, that's all I can do here. Um, um, so I guess we want to restore all that stuff. Is what it is. Good if there's uh, another way to do this, but it does not appear that there is, so never mind. There we go. There we go. So we're gonna. S I've got some junk to give him, have I? Uh. Yeah, we're gonna hang on to all of those. If we assume we all uh, we have room for them all. Let's hang on to that in case I need that in a pinch. Right, I probably want to pull out a couple of medicines. Um, and possibly over for the, also the re, uh, revive. Right, let's tidy all that up. There we go. I've got one piece of junk for you, buddy. Well, okay, I think we're good to go now. Let's give it a go. Let's try this new handgun. And uh, let's just hope that it's... Uh, uh, going to just work a little bit better. To my uh, preferences. All right, let's go. Oh, thank you, Red Mage. Just, you know, I want to... Liz, keep going. You'll be fine, my dear. They love you. Um, now we're going to... I guess this is just to come back and... Um, sort ourselves out, right? I guess maybe I should... I do need to go speak to Daniel again. I should probably go save it. It is, it is hard to adjust. It is, Liz. Life is hard. I've got, I have faith in you, you know. Oh, yeah. Detective Warner has some new information. Does he? Okay. We're hanging out in the boss's office, right? Some time ago, a doctor at the hospital was fired for selling off-patient records. And Melissa was seen going into the museum late at night several times. Eve? Clamp! That bastard! I knew he was a part of this! We'll split up here and search the entire city! 
Yeah, sure, yeah, sure you will, Daniel. <laughs> Search the entire city. <laughs> Even clan must be meeting soon. We must hurry. I'll be too. It'll be too late once the ultimate being is born. I'll go snoop around some more for any info. Brought you a walkie-talkie so we can keep in touch. Walkie-talkie. Nineties for you. I'm counting on you too, Mr. Scientist. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Liz, good luck. Yeah, it sucks when you're at work and you've got a half hour break and it's just, it's just gone like that. We'll all split up and look for Eve. You find any trace of her, you call for backup. Aren't you going to stay here, Daniel? And push papers all day? You're kidding me. <laughs> yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter at this point in the story. Um, but what will we do? There's no if anything comes up. Um, yeah, okay, I got it. Yeah. Hmm. Are right, so we going back to the museum? Day five. Evolution. Oh, okay. We'll do that one. I guess we we'll use the other one as a backup, just in case this handgun just doesn't work out or something. I don't know. <laughs> I like that it still lets you go anywhere. I guess you could go to all those other locations and then just be like, oh, there's nothing here. not supposed to be here yet. They did say take the entire city, but I assumed because uh, we had the lead about the museum. Yeah, tell us all about it, Liz, when, when you're settled in another day. So I'm uh, intrigued. Okay, I definitely can't get into the museum, so I guess we go elsewhere. I don't know where. I just come from the hospital. No point in going back to Carnegie Hall, right? Is there any point in going back to Oh Chinatown? Oh, we've been to Chinatown before, have we? Right, okay, so this just popped up as a random location for us to investigate. And it's certainly new. Interesting. And there's certainly enemies here. Oh my god. Oh yeah, look at that. That rate of fire is much improved. Not much damage, but that's what it was before, wasn't it? There we go. Yeah, that's, that's far more... Uh... Oh, my God. Uh, much better DPS. Obviously, only 10 uh, rounds in the magazine. Got to watch for... Um... Watch for needing to do reloads, but that's fine. Overall, that definitely feels like an improvement to me. Oh, hang on. 
He almost got away from me. Oh. PE defense by one. Okay. Nice. I'll save that. Are we just running straight through to the next area? Next, have we? Yeah, uh. poisoned. Yeah. Uh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh my god. All right, getting yeeted there, folks. Oh my god, Joe gone. Ah Motherfucker. My language. Oh, that's one medicine wasted. Ah. I should tank it for now. Wasting my time otherwise. I guess I can go for a, a super strong heal. It's mostly your magic points gone though. turn off any of these uh turn off this main road and go to any of these buildings or anything it just seems like it wants me to just walk straight on through all right random grenade launcher how did my end again <laughs> It's here. It looks like rotten meat. I'm going down to have a look. Notify Daniel for me. Y yes, wait, here, take this. Narita. Again, I forgot on the last boss fight if I should have been using that. But I feel like I should definitely be using them. Okay, we've got a little uh, chest up there. Ammo. Yeah, definitely need that. Sphinx, always a pleasure, my dear. Yeah, you take care. You have a good e rest of the evening. Good on you for getting on that work, that exercise. I respect it. Right, which way? Who knows when you wander around in the sewers? Oh my god, bats! Oh, oh my god! I just want to debuff to me by hitting me with that, so it seemed. Oh, 
will hit me with something. There we go, that's better. Yeah, it would seriously reduce range. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, yeah, blindness. That's because it's moved my um hit points and debuffs on the other side there. Move them around for some unknown reason. Ugh. And it's basically pointless shooting all the time that's there. I guess de does detox just get rid of poison? Gets rid of all debuffs. Either way. Oh my god. Oh, I can't stay away. I will say that I feel like I do kind of suck at this game. <laughs> Even though it's essentially extremely straightforward game. I'm really not very good at it. <laughs> no, nope. still blind. No, yeah, just get rid of poison. Hmm, that's rough. I'll get my attacks in while I can. Yeah, at least I've got only one to avoid now. Ugh. Okay, I'm close enough that I can still hit it. <laughs> Awkward, awkward enemies. Oh, there you go. Cure, uh, cure darkness. I get that, that, that is. Yeah. Cures and prevents darkness. Perfect. Okay. Okay. A little bit of uh, relief there. It's something. We are starting to chunk through our uh, rounds a little bit, though. Could be a problem. Hopefully not a problem, but uh, could be. Uh, which way? Let's uh, try this way. Oh, shiny. Hey, that pound the gun. Oh, more bats. Uh, yeah. At least we've got those items now, though. There we go. Did that even stop the damage of it? Or did that just strangely miss? I'm not really sure. There we go. Done. It seems to like dropping those cures for their attack though, so... Can't really complain about that, I guess. Yeah, I'm somewhat concerned about running out of ammo though. At this point. Oh no, a little bit out of range. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. 
Bowls. Ugh. Fuck. No. Oh. supposed to prevent darkness that's a bit of a stitch up isn't it unless it just doesn't last very long i guess unless it's one d darkness attack that would have hit you maybe i guess it's the idea yeah must be but now i'm about to freaking die oh Ugh. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> oh, that's one. <laughs> uh. Oh, I've fucking walked into the back of it there. My God. So I suppose if I get right on top of them, like that. Okay, that works. So it works. I don't know if that's the right word for it. Oh. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, my God. Wow. Jeez Louise. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> um. Anyway, before I was interrupted, I believe I was heading this way. God, it all looks the same. Right, okay. Let's take us down here. We uh oh. can't get under that. That's a, above us there. Can we get under that bridge? Unless it's um a wall as well. I don't know. Oh, okay. I guess we'll head up this ladder for now. Not two other different tunnels there, but I guess it probably all connects up back down there. Level three club. Okay. I mean, I hope we don't have to get come. It doesn't have to come to that, but, uh, we, uh, 
It might have to in a minute. Needs to... Uh, about to uh, run out of ammo. Freaking bats again, isn't it? Oh my god. No! Run away, run away, run away. Oh. I can't get further up there. Okay. Doesn't do what it says on the tin. Cures and prevents darkness. It cures it, but doesn't prevent the next one. Get behind him. God damn it. Hey, 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 hey. She's the main antagonist, uh, Brayden. This is a lot of gloop. It's the audience from Central Park. How does she know that? Oh my god. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch it if I was you. <laughs> I have to get the slime out of the reservoir before it infects the whole city. Yeah, how are we doing that? Are we heading up this way? I guess we're probably not heading down the ladder, but... Be like um, a safe point or something up here. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, for the time, Braden, absolutely. Some ammo, but thank God. <laughs> oh, <coughs> yeah, there we go. Telephone. <coughs> Excuse me. I can move the slime in the reservoir by using this control panel. Um, I guess we'll do it then. Pump one. There's not enough power. Okay. Pump two. Not enough power still. Oh, okay. Pump two worked. Is that enough? Oh my god. I guess that got the job done. In a in a way. Gotta try and fight this thing though. Oh, or not. Yeah, the water's too high to cross. Okay. Okay, I guess we go back the way we can then.
Yeah, kind of indeed, indeed, Raiden. It's all relative, isn't it? I guess a lot of it is maybe um, what you grew up with, what is uh, acceptable to you. Like I could, I could never look at an NES game and say, "Oh yeah, that's good graphics," because it's to me, it's not. But this, to me, is. Um, or I could look at any, pretty much any SNES game, not any, but a lot, and be like, "Oh, this is good graphics," you know. Oh, here we go. Okay, not boss fight, but my God, two of uh. These uh, lizardy boys. Uh, oh, if, I'm can't shoot their tails though. Okay. Oh my god, the amount of damage we're doing though. Well, they don't seem too intent on attacking. I say that as I get almost instantly yeeted. <laughs> Five rounds. I'm after me. <laughs> Going uh, melee in it soon. Maybe not on these guys, but on the boss. If we've got a boss coming up. <laughs> Get a level up. Ah, evolved gene heal. Ah, okay. Uses a uh, UP to slowly recover hit points. So it's like a regen. Nice. Okay, we've got some uh, armor upgrades there. Yeah, it probably should have been right. I probably should have gone for it, but my stupid fault. Um, and now we've got no ammo. If I've done myself a mischief here, Ryan. I mean, I assume I can still complete the game, right? Uh, <laughs> but now it's time to pull out our little club, isn't it? Um, uh, yeah, what's um? Oh, steal items, but half attack power. Ooh. I mean, quick draw, first attack. Okay, I mean. I'm gonna give it a go. This is what we got, folks. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's what that's what you do. That's what the upgrade did, uh, Twixy. I, I don't know. Um, there's a tool. So I think, obviously, you want to. I think get maybe stats are more important, and I feel that. To preserve your ammo, you don't you don't want those extra shots. You want like maybe two or three, or even just one, just a one shot gun, um, to maximise your damage. But uh, I don't know. We're just gonna go try uh, full on melee uh, for a bit, folks. Let's see how uh, let's see how that pans out. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, um, unfortunately you can't buy ammo, can you? Right, so, so is this the essence of the game, Ryan? It starts off easy and you go, and you get to like halfway through and you're actually, this is far more 
tough for survival horror than you realize. You didn't realize how tough it actually was. Here you go. <laughs> um, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Maybe melee is the way to go. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do early on. Once you get yourself a decent gun. Um, so, I guess maybe it is back up this way? I don't know. I didn't see a way to go. Another way to go. Yeah, false sense of security. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Uh, fine. Yeah, it seems like it's Twixie. It's, um... Like I say, I can't blame the game. Because, you know, it's not the game's job to... Let me know how, how, how everything works. But, um... Okay, maybe turn it off now. I mean, did its job. Yeah, because we got the creature to move. I guess that was the idea, wasn't it? Okay, there we go. So now we can jump across here. Got ya. But yeah, we could, um... Got ourselves in a tricky situation. If there's a boss coming up and I have to melee it, this could be a case of tough times ahead. It sounds like it, doesn't it? Okay, I'm... Now, there is a phone back there, so I'm just going to do another little... I'm going to do a, um, a save state just to um, save us a bit of time because things could go very awkward from this point forward. We getting up on this up there? We run down the train track? No. Got you, not much. So And the and of course you've got the if you go for full seven shots like I was going for there. You've also got the drawback that you could well as soon as you put that command in, you're committed. So Aya just, just stands there, takes her shots, reloads, does whatever, and is taking, getting beat up while she's doing it. Um, learn an important lesson, folks. Yeah. I feel, um, I feel committed now, Ryan. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but, um, I don't know. If I kind of, if I, well, here's the thing, folks. I, I don't know this game. I don't know the ins and outs of it. And because it's a retro game, it's, it's a no hand holdy game. It's possible either now or next next chapter or whatever. I may have soft locked myself in this game. I may get myself in a situation where I just don't have the supplies. I don't have the, um, the means to get out of the situation. If that is the case... It'd be a crying shame not to complete this game, especially as it's been requested um, by one of our producers. Uh, and there's no reason I shouldn't. If it comes to it, I hope it doesn't, but if it comes to it, I will restart the game again and I'll do it off stream uh, and get back up to the point where we get stuck and get myself in a much better position, uh, weapon and supply-wise, knowing what, um, you know... I know about the functioning of the game. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, you don't believe, Ryan. Okay. Okay. Well, I'd say I'm not... I, I'm inclined to go to the bitter end, you know. I'm not someone to uh, just kind of... Have, you know, cop out. And just, you know... Need a key. Okay. Oh. Right, range for a gun. And th th yeah, there you go. It's got a decent medicine at least. Right, so I guess maybe I'm running down the train tracks a little bit. I'm not looking for to find a key. Right, okay, melee time. Let's try it out. 
the mole thing. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, decent damage. It's probably like the worst enemy to be melee fighting. Seemingly. Oh my god. There you go, I've just wasted more medicine there. Medicine back at least. Oh, which way now? Oh god, here we go again. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, miss, really? Really? Oh my god. This is not good. Take one to give one here. I stole a tool. Holy shizzle. You can steal freaking tools. How can you steal tools from anything? Right, okay. I see. Oh my god, so now I'm poisoned. Oh my god. Oh dear. I'm blind as well. Oh my god, about to die. Hmm. Oh dear. Alright, let's have a five. <laughs> so is this um is this just a really tough enemy or is this like a mini boss? Um yeah, I was just trying to save my PE for the uh the heals there, Twigsy. I feel that the barrier is uh, as effective as a heal in terms of your P energy compared to how much you're preventing or healing. I could be wrong though. Um, um, they should be allowed to have tools. <laughs> this is the boss. Oh my god. Now, um, in that case, let me. Uh, I do have a. I do, yeah, I do have some rounds in this. Uh, oh my god. This grenade launcher. Terrible damage. Oh no. Oh dear. Um. Not sure how to really get around this. More safe, so in the sewer there wasn't too far beyond the um, so I stupidly wasted all my ammo, didn't I? Uh, you gotta kill him, Everett. Um, I'm feeling like this is one of those situations where, um, You start, uh, murders. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, Brayden, I think that's the point. I think, I don't know if this is the point of the game, but I'm feeling that's like the situation of the, uh, the game. And I've, um, it depends, it depends on the, the RPG. I've certainly done this in RPGs before where you, um, 
you start the game, you don't really know what you're doing, you get a certain way through the game, and then you kind of get a bit stuck or feel, or you're not doing very well, and then you, um, you realise that actually you could, uh, you, you know, you could, uh, have done much a much better job of the game particularly in a survival game um i guess we'll um i'll load up the game i don't know what we should probably do about the whole situation at the moment uh <laughs> try and fight a little bit better, but um Okay, let me try down here. There might be supplies down this way, unless it links up. Um, yeah, no, I don't think you can run away and exit. Um, Twigsy. Unless, of course, we can exit, you know, just head back the way we came, get back up to the top of Chinatown where my Ada is, get back to the police station to, like, you know, start sort your items out whatever um so in theory i mean could you just fight go back to central park and just fight birds for uh pittance of xp not really there for the xp but they did drop a lot of ammo um that could be an option i don't know how practical that is and if that, those birds are still there on day four day five we're on um, that is the only issue, I guess. Oh. Oh, dear. Right, okay, we're all out of uh, ammo for that. Oh my god. Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, Everett. Thank you for stopping in, buddy. I'll see you tomorrow, my friend. Do you have a nice evening? Um, I guess what I'm going to try and do then. the only other uh <laughs> which seems like kind of somewhat inappropriate doesn't it um we're supposed to be dealing with this situation here and there but you know here and now but oh sorry it's uh this way isn't it where did it come from no there we go God, the sounds sound a little bit jank at the minute. Has done this on the uh, retro pod before now. I need to reset. And something down there as well. Yeah, it sounds uh, way off at the minute. It was it was what I want to do. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna reload the game. I think. It doesn't sound right, does it? There we go. We'll quit. Start up again.
Yeah, I might have to just um farm some birds uh <laughs> uh tonight. Get some ammo. Now we've only got an hour and a half left of the stream. I don't really like grinding on Ooh, that's jank. I don't really like grinding on stream, but um Let's go back into that. Okay, there we go. Or it sounds better. We'll fix the sound. There we go. Yeah, it's awful. Twixie. Um... Yeah, so I've certainly learnt a bunch of stuff about the game. What to, you know, what to do with the weapons, what to do with your arm, what to do with tools. Understand the upgrade system. And maybe there's some benefit to, uh... I'll fight this froggo. Oh! Any problem with the uh, melee? It takes for a second to wind up. Oh my god! Oh my, oh my life! I think we're gonna have to, this is not really what i wanted to do i guess it's a, a jrpg at its core and to get through a whole game without doing any uh oh my god i'm just gonna try and run away i managed to get away well that was pretty lucky i managed that so a few oh and then it immediately gives you another battle this wasn't much of an escape was it Oh my god. Okay, I guess we're not really escaping then. Oh my god. I feel like I've done myself um, a great disservice. Heal myself and not uh, use that friggin' medicine. Speaking about healing myself. Or oh, use the gene heal. I should be doing that, shouldn't I? Idiot. Ugh. God damn it. I don't want to use some melee on them. If you can help it. Oh, it's Gene Heal. Let's see how good it is. Okay. All right. So it looks like it rinses your... Uh, instantly reduces all of your P energy to heal you by that much in hit points, I guess. So, don't, so is that superior to normal heal? I don't know that it is, but it's not like a regen effect. 
Oh, there we go. Ryan, it is, mate. <laughs> um, let me try and do an escape. It's just put me straight back into the fight again, though. It might do. Then the question becomes, what's the point of uh, the, the escape command? Yeah. Wow. I mean, this, um... That was alright. That was not bad. Depends on the target. So, um... That's something else to be said, I guess. Is, uh... Test that out again. That gene heal. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty damn good. So it looks like it. Um. It takes a chunk of p, uh, p energy to activate it, and then it starts ticking down from whatever you got left. Therefore, it's kind of like really good if you've got a lot of p energy otherwise i think you might be better for just using the other the normal the straight up heels okay and he actually wore off before uh, you completely run out of um Before you uh, completely run out of, uh, I'm trying to say, um, your uh, P energy, so it doesn't run. It's as it's on a timer. It doesn't run into its full course. Uh, this way, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Aha. Defense plus two. That's pretty nice. That is pretty damn nice. Ooh. A shiny. A tool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to for it to recharge quicker. I know when you level up, obviously your P energy stat goes up, and you can spend your bonus points. Uh, that's just on your act active time, uh, your ATB. Um, that doesn't really help. I think your armor. That's your P, P energy stat. That's for your defense against uh you know p energy attacks not the all recharge rates i don't think there's any way to increase the recharge rate of you p energy that i'm aware of um It, 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 <laughs> is it Red Mage? Oh, you know me, I'm, I'm clueless. <laughs> Alright, offense. Right, okay. If I can get out of the sewers, 
and like try and farm some ammo that's the main issue in um from maybe burbs in the uh in the park i might be able to turn this around and we'll come back here Ah, this is a tricky situation. I've stupidly got myself in. Oh, I've got to whack some more bats now. Oh my god. Whack. Got too many items, did that say? Oh, wow, we do as well. Interesting. So if you get right on top of them, you can hit them even when they're blind, but... Yeah, it's um, easier said than done, isn't it? And then they blind you straight away again. Wow. wind up with it as well is um if you uh if they step out of range then you're going to automatically miss anyway so if i feel like melee attacks are only really useful against enemies that are um kind of slow moving even if uh you're not blinded <laughs> they're not back on it as well there we go. Thank God, finally. God, I need to get out of here, guys. This is getting, um... It's getting bloody ridiculous. Please, just allow me to leave. Ah, <laughs> uh, Yeah, I mean, look, here's the thing, Twixie. Even if I... Oh, I forgot how to... Oh, I fucking got down here now. Bollocks. Um... And it doesn't help they all look the same. Worst case scenario, I would just restart the game. But I don't really want to and like rush through it. Uh just to get back up to this point. I would spend some time grinding the birds when you first go to the Central Park. Um And uh Is this not the way? This is a dead end. Oh my god.
Um, I don't know. Doomed new. This way then, it's got me. And then up from here. It's not the dead end, right? I swear, on that T-junction, we started coming from the right direction. It's just finding the correct one. I'm not sure. How. I'm keeping track. So again, my own stupid fault. Um, not bats again, please. Oh, snakes! That's, um... Now, can I... F can I trick it into, uh... Zoning and... Zoning back in? Probably not. Oh, boy. I wonder if... Now, Red Mage, you were saying this is basically functions the same as, um... The Vagrant Story. So, I wonder if, uh... Oh, here we go. I wonder if this is kind of a similar kind of situation that Cage got himself in with Vagrant Story. Yeah, Brayden, this is where we're basically at. There we go, we got out. And it's not even XP grind, it's just uh, ammo grind, essentially. We might even get some junk while we're at it, I don't know. What we got now? Big boys. And snakes. Oof. Too many items. That mean I've um I'm trying to steal these medicine twos, aren't we? Basically. Probably. Oh dear. Ugh. Oh, they're everywhere, Brayden. Can't get away from him. Fucking eat it. I want to think, oh, well, it seems to be fairly consistent with the game. Enemies. Oh my god, that's terrible. Enemies, um. do seem to, like, when you touch them, like in any retro game, any game, really. Um, oh my god. They do damage to you, but that seems to be very minimal compared to them actually doing their attacks. Seriously? wind up get interrupted constantly look at that I can barely stay away from this thing look see that it's like get into range initiate the attack by the time the attack happens it's wandered out of range and finally my god 
Let me just get out of Chinatown. Ay, ay, ay. Um. <laughs> you laughing at that, Red Mage? It's more. Red <laughs> Vagrant Story is more unforgiving. You reckon? Uh. Oh my god. Um. Look forward to that, eh, Red Mage? <laughs> um. Oh, okay, Ryan. I'm what I'm going to do for Oh my god, can I just... Try and do that. Probably not going to work. Oh, it did work. Wow, nice. <laughs> That's what it feels like, Tugsy. Um... Is there, Ryan? Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about the gun at the minute so much. I'll just, I'll, I'll just grind to get some ammo. Um. Right, let me just um. Let me get to the uh, back to the uh, police station for a second. Drop off our stuff. See how we're doing. We stole a tool as well. But yeah, so I have got a problem with out the handgun that we have. The handgun we have is fine. It's having the t the the multiple shot upgrade is very misleading. I feel you know, and that's you're not gonna rag on a, a game that is like made 24 released 24 years ago you know it's um and it, if they because they've had a little bit of a tutorial at the beginning of the of the of the main menu haven't they before you can get into the game it just would be um i feel it'd be cool if it kind of explained things a little bit or if they just, or, or they just ha didn't have that upgrade, or that upgrade functioned how you would expect it to. Um, but it's what it is. Right. Okay. Let's store stuff now. How are we how are we doing for storage space? What are you... Got a lot. Too much, I don't know, but um, okay, I've got a lot of uh, arm, especially armor upgrades, but yeah, just a lot of upgrades in general at the minute. I meant to move that, not use that. Ugh! I swear to God. <laughs> Practically a genius. Yeah, defaults to move. Maybe I should, um... The other way around, though, don't we? Yeah. Medicine seems to be the main junk. There we go. So we've got our actual useful items at the top there. Yeah, so we've got four tools, a bunch of... Uh, a load of armor and uh, several uh, gun upgrades as well. Um... Yeah, so we're not going to need that. I guess we'll move that. Oh, wrong button. All right, okay. So, um, I have a little. 
I'm gonna tune them up, but let me just have a. Oh, because the tools are in storage, idiots. <laughs> um, hang on, I'm just gonna change that to memory. So that's a bit more useful. Uh, you have to pull your tools out before it will even open up on it. <laughs> I just want to compare so we did, did maybe have a more suitable gun. I guess we just want to change it to a three shot, don't we? Or even like two shot would be appropriate. Um, hey, it's mine full for um, kind of. Uh, so what I should probably do. It's like carry one tool on me at all times, just so I can like check. Uh, <laughs> um, there you go. So if we get to tune up now, right? No, what am I? What am I looking for? I'm looking for the. Um, I'm sure there's a something in the menu that said. Um, I'm not use item. I thought it was under tune up, weapons armor, and then it would uh, say like uh, in in your inventory or in your storage. There's like a little box you could uh, select between the two. Seems like I don't want to do that now. I don't know. Um, let's just tune up there. There we go. It's tune up from the storage menu. Okay. Not to make things too complicated. Uh, <laughs> okay, so... Uh, okay, they're already storage. I don't think you can sort by type, can you? No, this is just to sort weapons and armor. Okay. Um, so I think it's pretty the handgun's pretty good we just need to remove that time 7 shot off of it which is freaking annoying um, now what does tr that has tranquilizer isn't it what else we've got times 3 times 2's um, right so that's all we could necessarily do um It's like tr Trank's a debuff. You can take the ammo out of all the guns. Ah. You can unload. Okay. That's it. Thank you, Ron. I, I, that, that previously had kind of uh, occurred to me. That might be a thing, but I, I didn't stop to think about it. Um, so what I want to just look at is... Uh, and back that up slightly. Yeah, I'm saying, so, and then do a storage. Tranquilizer. I just want to, it's technically cheating. I just want to know what the bloody hell that does. Is that good? Is that bad? It can't be a bad thing, right? Um, Added effects. Let's have a look. Um, here we go. Let's have a look. Um, it's not really cheating. Um, I'll find it. Ah. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. He has a. It's basically like a status debuff to put them to sleep. Now I guess you wake them up if you attack them again. But it could help. Yeah. There's all sorts of bloody things. Yeah. Um. Uh. 
God, there's some gun buffs, gun things that uh, allow you to have two and three actions per turn. That's what you actually want, not not the rate of fire. Uh, so, um, Is also, you also, uh, oh, that's club effects, okay. Uh, so, we could go back down to times two, or I could just put the tranquilizer on, and I assume that would be one shot every single turn. But, you're going to maximize your damage, aren't you? Like Ryan said, uh, the, the total damage overall is more, but, um... It's uh, having you. It's like you're almost like you're stun looking yourself. It's not worth it. I don't mind running around. There's no time limit on fights, is there? And if you're just every single turn, you take a single shot, and that single shot is at maximum damage, even if it's less damage overall per action, you're doing it much quicker. Then you could cast haste on yourself, because you're not obviously not. You're st stood there doing your attack while it's tick your ATV is ticking over you're gonna stop do your attack bang one shot then you're moving around again uh and then haste would obviously you'd have the most benefit of a single of any weapon that's single shot or two shots maybe um and then you, it's, you're gonna be much better at avoiding enemies attacks and obviously <laughs> Arguably the main thing, you make your each every single one of your bullets, you're maximizing the damage output of them. Um So here's what I'm gonna try and do. I'm gonna take this G23, and it's probably we're gonna we'll probably get another gun uh, in the future. I'm gonna go single shot with the tranquilizer rounds. Which doesn't lower the uh Oh, and you can use the ones in your uh inventory or oh, there you go, it lets you select which tool you want so i guess you just use the one in the inventory so we're going to destroy that grenade launcher and put the trank ability on the g23 but that's an additional okay cool that's fine so now we're going to want to use another tool and we're going to want to find something that has i guess gonna have to be could you use a blank slot? Is that an option? Oh wait, what's um what's that there? Acid effect. That's just extra damage, isn't it? So let's go for that. The no empty slots. Ah Ah You can't overwrite them or remove them. Ah, you know what, guys? Pa, what sound weird? Part of me wants to just kind of like s just start the game from scratch. I know technically that's more time. So I, feel, I feel like I've done so many cock ups in the games to this point over the past. Yesterday was fine. It, it wasn't. It just wasn't how I wanted it to be. Uh, <laughs> I just didn't know at the time. God damn it. Yeah, Twixie. Uh, so that gun is not only we waste a tool and we waste the trank upgrade. We <laughs> We've. Uh... I'm just making assumptions. <laughs> I sound like your brother to our red mage. Is he, uh, uh... Yeah, he won't let me change it, will it? Oh, unless I can. Unless you you can change the type. Maybe I can, yeah, maybe. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Might be all right. Ryan might be right, here we go. So we go, handgun. So let's find some of the times two. 
assault rifle there. That shitty handgun, maybe. Yeah, that, that doesn't have much to offer. That. Oh, did it work? It did. Oh my god, thank god for that. So you can overwrite if it is the same type of upgrade. My god. Uh... <laughs> There we go. And the ammo first. Yes, Ryan, of course. Of course. I should do that now. Fuck my life. Right. Let's do that. I assume I have to um, put it into my inventory to uh, take out the rounds, don't I? Oh, unless I go... Is it reload? Yes, there we go. Reload. Ammo crate. There we go. Perfect. So you lose your rounds if you dismantle it without emptying it. Got ya. Okay. Aye, aye, aye. We're going to get there, folks. We are going to get there, wherever there is. Uh <laughs> oh, my life. Um, there we go. Right, so it's two shots, so at least we should be doing decent amounts of damage now. And with the trank on there, if you have multiple, you could try and put enemies to sleep a bit better. I don't know. We're going to see how it goes. <laughs> we can still turn this around, folks. We're not we're not busted just yet. Right, okay. Uh, And then we've just got this gun here. There we go. So we've got a few bullets now. I want more. That's not enough bullets for me. I'm going to try and fight some burbs in the park and see if we can get some ammo from them. Uh, <laughs> uh. Here we go. Come back any time, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, need Sadie. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you, Ryan. I, I hadn't really considered that. Uh, there we go. So we've got a bunch of ammo now, but I feel like we need... I mean, we could just go straight back there, but I don't know if it would hold out for the duration. We're going to try and go to the park and see if I can whack with my little club some weak-ass birds and see if they drop some more ammo. My God. Interesting. I guess we learned a lot. And it would definitely put me instead for... Um, playing uh, something, uh, you know, the sequel. I would get some good idea of what how everything functions. Oh, hang on a minute. You can't come in here. Oh. There's no sign of Eve, but the animals from the zoo are still on the loose. Okay, cool. You can come in here. Go beat up those animals from the zoo. So I'm pretty sure just around the, this bend of the path here, you can get into random encounter with the burbs. And if there's a couple other spots further in, yeah, that's the only problem trying to grind in this game. And you're not trying to get random encounters. It's um not too much of an issue, but when you are. I think there's uh, at least a couple of places inside as well. You'll come back to me. We were only doing this yesterday. Seems like such a long time ago now. <laughs> uh. Oh, 
Alright, where's the main spot we were fighting burbs? I think it was on this screen. This screen, maybe? I guess. <laughs> oh, I just brought us back there. Oh wait, was um about in the um in here? You can hear burbs in it. Need a key. It's all locked to behind us. Oh, okay. I guess somebody went along and locked that. Um, fair enough. We'd, th we'd assume people would just leave it open, but I don't want to assume what they've been up to. I um, don't that's I don't remember. I think you're getting a fight around here, don't you? But they might have changed all like the locations of all the uh, enemies. It's hard to. Uh, Hard to know, isn't it? We've got a single fight, and we got here. Um, yeah, a, a warehouse. Not, not specifically, Ryan. No, I don't think so. We've been to all sorts of storage places and stuff, but not a warehouse specifically. As in, certainly not in a, a location, as in its own separate location on the map. Um, I mean that cop out the front. He did say, uh, "Oh yeah, by the way." There's, uh... There's, uh, still the zoo animals running around. He did say that, didn't he? Oh, interesting. Oh, here we go. Let's see what we actually get here. Oh, the freaking polar bear. Not, uh, exactly ideal, but... I can't even hit the bastard. Okay. Oh, ammo plus 15 from Polar Bear. Okay. They can barely hurt us. So that's that's a, a good thing, I guess. I'm just going to ba barely been hurt. There we go. Better do a heal. That case I missed. Yeah. Okay, 15 ammo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, with single shot, I feel that... Or single... A double shot, dual shot we've got. Um, yeah, you got to love it, Red Mage. It's hard not to. Uh, I feel that... Um, I wonder if that polar bear just spawns when I go back there. Let's give it a go. Ah. Okay. Oh, wow. Ready? Okay. Oh, we stole some ammo from it. And then dropped ammo as well. Okay, I think we've got what we need here, folks. We found our victim. We found our, uh... <laughs> we found our, uh... A victim of uh, daylight robbery. Uh, <laughs> a scary polar bear. Is it going to respawn again? Give me a sec. Cause we, you know, because we 
So yeah, this um, the club, the uh, nightstick, the baton. One of its functions is that it, it, it does like less damage, but you can steal items. You know, like a steal in a JRPG. Uh, or a mug attack. Which uh, usually means you uh, do damage with the steal effect, which, like, as it is in this. Okay. Doesn't want to respawn straight away. Let me uh, try zoning again. Um, so if he's going to drop 15 rounds when we kill him... And then could potentially steal 15 rounds from him. This is uh, not a bad way to go. I assume we're not going to hit him. He's not doing... You know, yeah, steal 15 rounds. And drop 15. Well, la -dee da Okay, here we go. We'll kill him a few more times. Um, we should be alright, though, without, without too much ammo. Because if we've got this handgun, and we're doing two shots, and we've got much more damage from that, that's like... That's like a few hundred attack rounds, isn't it? So it's it shouldn't... It should be certainly be doable. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's... It's horror uh, in the sense of, like, it's like sci it's science horror. Uh, so it's kind of like exactly the same as Resident Evil, really, Slip Make. It's just the, the, with the setting being in New York City, spread over a few days, it doesn't have that same sense of um, isolation, I guess. There we go. So, I could, I could certainly understand you, uh, you not finding this scary, certainly. I mean, from a story perspective, it is pretty awful. Arguably more worrisome than the Resident Evil situation. Because everything that happened with Resident Evil... At the, at the start of the story, he was nipped in the bud, wasn't he, by the nuking of Raccoon City, which is pretty brutal to, you know, nuke a whole city, but it was contained. If Eve gets out of hand, the whole human race could be fucked in uh, a matter of weeks, I guess. So in that regard, you could argue it's scarier. Um... But yeah, you know, if the, if you uh, yeah, you don't feel in the atmosphere, then that's uh, perfectly understandable. Right, how are we how are we doing, fam? I let me have a little check. Three hundred rounds. That's literally, uh, you know, a hundred and fifty turns of attack with our uh, our new gun. I'm trying to kill it like another two or three times at least. If we can get back into the sewers and kill that freaking centipede. I'll be satisfied with that today. I wonder what the a acid damage does. There's also like a frost, a heat, and uh, a cyanide upgrade. Wow, the cyanide. Your shots have a chance of instantly killing most enemies. What? God damn. <laughs> That's uh. wonder what the chance is. There's also a critical hit rate up as well. Uh, a counter attack. So you get like a free chance of a, an attack when you're attacked. Uh, burst upgrade. You have a spread in front of you. Um, which is fine, assuming the damage is not reduced by your shots. 
So, I mean, like, but yeah, if you're looking at acid, frost, and heat, is one superior to the other? Who knows? Right, okay, so there are different situations, Ryan, for them. I, I assume you're never going to, like, if I put acid on one of the guns, it's not going to uh, get to the point where I'm healing enemies with sh by shooting them or anything. Ah, that one only gave me six ammo. I'm going to steal. Oh, it, gave, it dropped a medicine, though. Okay. Okay, uh, I do want to try and see if we can progress this um so here's uh hey retro deck how you doing there you right there bud um ah so you know more about it than i do i didn't even realize it was never actually released over here ah it's <laughs> so how does it ryan or retro deck or anybody else who's familiar with this game or the sec and the second one is the second one easier than this it seems um we might be all right now though honestly we might be in an okay situation i mean just uh we've got what uh one crappy medicine full cure and revive maybe i should go and pick up a few medicines from uh from the police station And then, um, you've read, yeah, Ryan, I think we might be all right. Chain, getting the extra ammo or so, or, or just, oh, you got some burbs as well. Okay. Uh, or just getting ammo <laughs> and also sorting out our gun. So it might actually be somewhat effective. old junk. Alright, I don't know that's necessary, but... Hey, there you go. Some junk and some ammo. Yeah, I think we're probably... Well, you're right. I think we're probably good to go, aren't we, Ryan? I've got to try anyway. Part of me, I don't think we can... I don't have time to be... Um, I'm going to go that item capacity to 40, and then I'm going to start putting points in uh, into the active time. Um, I don't really have time or inclination to be replaying games on the stream, but part of me uh, would get some degree of pleasure out of replaying this game with the knowledge that I have now uh, and like, make a, a better run at it in terms of... Um, you know, you're getting your items as they should be, and doing your upgrades properly. You know, doing the combat properly, etc. Um, have you previously, Ryan? Are you? Because you said you possibly started the game yourself yesterday. Um, no, <laughs> that's what I've heard, Twixie. I've heard he's that guy. You know that that guy. That guy who does that. Uh, <laughs> um, is it? So here's my question to you, Red Mage: Is um, is understanding this type of game from what we've I've experienced yesterday and today in Parasite Eve enough to tackle uh, Vagrant Story, or do you have to essentially do the same thing in Vagrant Story? You have to start a game, get halfway through it, realise you've booked yourself, and then, then start again from scratch and do things properly. That's the question. Yeah, so were you going for that special gun, Ryan? Here we go. So we're going to get back to um, the police station. Uh, drop off our junk and such. Um... Let me just do a little uh, heal up now. Uh... 
so did you did you give up on it, Ryan? She didn't say you know, like two hundred piece of junk. The problem is, it's it's hard. I feel it's a little awkward to get random encounters in this game if you're af trying to get them. <laughs> um. Right, got you. Uh. Okay, so you don't need to start again, Red Mage, but it's the same idea, though. There we go. He's got some freebies for us. Right, okay. We're going to... Um, although we should be all right with that. Let's have a look what we got. Let me... Let me turn over the junk first, and let me... uh. Not that it matters. We're never going to get... I, I feel that you would never get enough junk naturally, would you? You'd, you have to go out of your way to uh, get that junk. Um, no, it's no point carrying... Really? Uh, there's no point in carrying medicine wands around with us. So just use them willy nilly. Fuck <laughs> my life. Uh, we'll carry one medicine three. We need more than that. Um, I'm inclined also maybe to put these upgrades on our handgun. Now that would the consequence of that would be if we get a new better gun that I like the looks of. If we used a tool, we'd be losing our tranquilizer, but we do have the acid upgrade. Of course, the opposite exception if you find a super tool. Um, armor. We found arm with better base stat. That's the question. I don't know what we have, have we? That, see, that one, strong against status attacks. Has that got an actual... Um... That does have an actual... Uh... There's an actual uh, thingy on it, isn't it? Hang on, let me... um. See what it says. Uh... Greatly reduces the chance of being... It says status attacks there, but on the here it says poisoned. That would not be terrible, would it? Um, God, this one says uh, you can get an upgrade that um, reduces the parasite energy costs by a significant amount. That would be pretty fantastic. Increase your maximum hit points by 15%. Eh. Um... Increases your attack. Defensive stat by two. That would be pretty fancy. Um, Maybe we should put stuff into that armor there. So what's it? 30, 35, 20. That's slightly better. Maybe we can tool all of that over. I don't really like the auto uh, medicine use. I think I've just wasted medicine with that. And not being poisoned constantly by freaking snakes and stuff. Um, would not be terrible. That's more physical defense, but that's got the, uh, the P energy defense on it. It might be the best arm we've got so far. Okay, let's just do it. We may get new tools, but we may not. Um, I 
Yeah, there we go. I'm going to move those stats across. I think that should be pretty good. Hopefully. Uh, I don't want that. I don't like it. Um, that being said, we got... Um, we've got other armors that have got... Uh, better stat no uh ah there we go that's the one with all the stat bonuses on isn't it eight three and a four so yeah if i take um that and then take all the stats from that one the sp vest one and put it on the b vest one that should give us some pretty stonkingly good armor no oh, sorry about this guys just want to get try and get tooled up a little bit Right, so we uh, take that, move. Let's equip that. Let's stick the other one away. My God. Um, get there eventually. Yeah, just shoot people and steal items from them. That would be uh, pretty amazing, Ryan. But I guess it's... Uh, not uh not really my, an option ever welcome back um your hell what happened um <laughs> i mean i guess they kind of do if like you kill someone you can take the stuff but that's uh that's not something we want to dwell on is it <laughs> right let's get our gun equipped get our significantly better armor equipped there we go let's store that crap armor it's not crap but not to my not to my tastes i'm trying to stick with these for a bit because we've like i've rinsed a bunch of tools there um restore items we've got medicine three okay no i was gonna put um Okay, so we have one tool left. I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna use these, and then we can uh, move stuff around as needed. I feel this is gonna serve us well. This wasn't my original plan, was it? But here we are. So as long as you have a tool, you can. These are never lost. You just need to every time you upgrade so it's you just need to look at it like you know most rpgs or jrpgs you're like, oh i found a new armor in parasite eve you have to go i found a new better armor but i also need a tool before i can switch to it because if i don't have a tool there's no point because we've already got the old armor that's got all the upgrades on it you need a tool to transfer your upgrades and if you've got uh you know a, a slot bonus you also need a super tool if you want to take both. So you have to be aware of this. But I think our armor and uh, n the upgrades, isn't there's nothing that's desperately on the gun or the armor in the slot upgrades that I definitely need to keep and transfer into the future. It's just the stat bonuses. So I think it's relatively safe to go ahead and use all of these on our current armor and gun. If that makes sense. I, I hope that made sense. I hope I don't regret it. But <laughs> I'm just going just to do it because I want to kill this freaking centipede. I'm going to wreck him. I'm going to shoot him. I don't want to be able to put him to sleep. And then he's going to attack us. And I'm going to be like, hey, look at our armor, matey. Didn't do nothing. Kind of. Ish. Uh, <laughs> um... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Birds are real though. Right? Right? There we go. I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, 
It should be fine. I have faith it will be fine. If not, I'll, uh... I'll do what I need to do. <laughs> Off stream if needs be. I hope not. I'll, I'll be uh, very disappointed if we can't, uh... Complete the game like this. Boom. There we go. We are tooled. There we go. Fancy, fancy new gun. 51 attack. Two shots. Not seven. Two. <laughs> uh, which is appropriate because we've got ten rounds in the magazine. So we're going to have five attacks with it before we need to reload. 61 range. Terrible compared to a rifle, but rifles only seem to have that good range anyway, relatively speaking. So it's and it does seem it definitely seems that regardless of max range, you do more damage potentially if you're closer to the target anyway. Uh and there we go. Stonkingly good defense, P energy defense, and crit uh, uh evasion. Twenty nine percent crit evasion. That's really not too bad. Um and we've also got poison resists, which is, I would say, is the most annoying debuff. But that blind from those bats is, uh, <laughs> is its own thing. Let us venture forth, my fellows. Um, There you go, Ryan and Athelene both seem to know about it independently. <laughs> oh. Now, I don't know that they are, but I will say this, it wouldn't surprise me if they were. Um... Idiot. I wanted to get an extra medicine. I'm just going to... We'll do a save when we get back down into the sewer. And if uh, it's not enough, I'll, I'll make sure I keep that as a separate save. We can always retreat again and sort myself out. Sort my life out. No promises. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, we are going to... That peed is getting slated. Slayed all over the place. That's a good point. More than 360 degrees, Af. Like, they can go all... Do a full 360 and then do a bit more in the, in the continuum in that direction. That's disturbing. And they look quite comfortable doing it. Yeah. There we go. Right, let's test this out. Ah. Okay, well, the armor seems pretty good. Okay, there we go. 46 damage. That's what I'm talking about, kids. Sixty-nine for a crit. A la di da. Oh, that was unfortunate. I need to, uh, let's go for one of those. Oh, wow. We still got poison day. We still got poison day. I see. I like the quit 69. <laughs> this shows the, and a level up. Okay, nice. It just shows the uh, depth of my mentality. There we go. A bunch of ammo. Okay.
Okay, much better. Already feeling that. Now, the sleep effect didn't seem to do shit to those enemies, at least. <laughs> I ain't gonna do anything against this centipede, is it? But, uh... Oh, let's go. We got this. Remember the way in this freaking sewer. I think I know roughly. I want to go west a little bit. Like two screens and then south. That brings us, I think that brings us out near the walkway. I'm just going to get harassed by freaking bats on the way. But so be it. In fact, was it just straight down this way? Straight away? Let me find out. I think it might have been. Maybe it wasn't. Okay, let's go down one more screen. But the bats are uh, easing off for a minute. I think it's just a big frog in here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we could be friends with him. Nice. There we go. Perfectly acceptable. Three shots. That big frog. Can work with that. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Now, maybe there's junk back up in those places, but I cannot be bothered to find out. Gotta we'll kill this peed. walk around these walkways i'm expecting to um find a mako reactor any any moment no <laughs> oh roger i will sir Here's the telephone, isn't it? There we go. This is where we do a proper save. That's interesting. Telephone that rings as you're dialing out. Anyway. Um, I mean, we're definitely not going back to that save there, I feel now. Let's just uh, overwrite that. Let's do or die now. I feel like with less shots, they're doing more damage. You just got more maneuverability. You know, you've just um, I don't know. I just it's just it just kind of it feels like it functions a little bit better. You know, it's not the game's fault. You know, this this is a staggering game considering the vision they had and they were um, kind of making it up as they went along almost. I think they did a fantastic job. Right, so I think it was up here. We're on the other side of the track, and then down. Yes, yeah, so we've got that locked door, which I assume we get the key from the... Uh... Oh. Oh, wow. What's that bonus that's given us, huh? We've just not been... Did I reload another game? I don't remember. Either way. Let's get that on our armor, I guess. Nice, that should be 31 now. Nice.
Yeah, it's it's really rather good. Bread mage. Uh, yeah. So, oh, I got that as well. Medicine three. Okay. So I'm pretty sure it's up this way. Mr. Centipede. Time to get slapped, sir. Okay, we've got to deal with some uh this mole first. This oh yeah, this freaking mole. Ow! I'm gonna get out of range of him. Left one. Oh. See what I mean? Perfectly in range there, but we got a miss. There we go. Ow! Right, we'll take him on to give him one to take one. Take him on to give one. Never mind. That's what it is. There we go. Boom. There we go. And, uh... Guess for one of Hey, more ammo. There we go. So we're doing all right. We're doing all right in ammo now. I'll stick with this gun. It's just... It's all those... The seven shots that I kept missing on the bass, wasn't it? Well, that's the extent of it, but... Here we go. All right there, lad. All right. Have we met before? I think we might have, might we? So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go, um... I think we're going to go haste. I don't think any of these... Debuffs will work on it. So let's get some haste on us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That haste is good. That's kind of a couple of shots. Oh, nice. 72 crit. Oh, oh, that that's hurting. But <laughs> never mind about that. We're going to go uh, a heal briefly. Oh, that's unfortunate. Got more than one target, in fact. No. Just target four. Oh, it's because I'm freaking blind at the minute. Idiot. Now I'm not. Okay, okay. Need to pay attention to stuff like that. I wonder how long this haste lasts. We've got all that P energy, so let's um, let's chuck a barrier up just in case. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What's... Oh, wow. What are we doing here? It's like that, is it? Oh, yeah. That's one down. There we go, you're on your own, buddy. There we go. That's how it's supposed to go down. I'm not trying to hit it with the freaking club. Level up, nice. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. We've got a, another gun, but if that's appropriate. Thank you, Red Mage. Thank you, guys. Thank you. What's that uh, what's that chicken emote you got there? Let's go, chicken. Let's -a go. <laughs> Excellent. Um, right, a grenade launcher. Mm, mm, mm. 
Wow, it's got it's got an extra empty slot and it's got the freeze uh, ability on it, and the stats are pretty good. It's that rate of fire on the grenade launcher is not ideal. Maybe we'll maybe we'll look onto that later. I don't know. I don't know. God, yeah, nice level up though. Rocking a nice amount of hit points. Um, bonus points. That's at 40 now. I feel at this point in the game... Yeah, 32 item capacity. That should be good enough, I feel, to not... I hope to not be lo losing out on any items. I would think. And it still levels up on its own a little bit anyway. So I'm going to start working on the active time. Put a few points into that. Not always necessary. Because obviously there's times in a fight where you're ready to attack. But you've just got to manoeuvre instead. We shall see. See we shall. Um... Great. Yeah, let's just do a couple of those. Why is Eve going to pop out? Fluent mitochondria. Do you think so, Red Mage? I don't know about that. I'm, uh, I feel like I'm, it's like a learning process. Most, this is retro gaming for you, isn't it? It's, um, It's that, you know, you've got the early, early retro. Then you've got the, uh, well, I think of us as a golden age. Then you've got, like, the modern games. And this is, like, I would say, this is, like, the bang in the golden age. Where the games are weird and janky, but there's enough to them that they're quite involved. And you have to, there's no hand-holding, like, in modern games. But it's got the it, it 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 has that complexity where um you have yeah i know you got to learn on the fly and i might have hopefully pulled it off no it's fine red mage we've got the renaissance as well there's a lot of modern jrpgs that abide by the golden age don't they even if they're not of the golden age um gate key Excellent. Why this random cop had it? I don't know. The slime's going towards... The museum. We tried to go to the museum a bit since. <laughs> we couldn't get in. Okay, so I've just got to uh, go back the way we came. Oh, yeah. Probably do a little reload. That'll probably help. And, we'll, and, and do it properly. There we go. Uh... <laughs> Insert disc two. Oh, okay. I need to. Uh, <laughs> I need to remind myself how to do this, folks. Let me uh, just pause that for a second. I've got a document here, which um, online document tells you how to do this because it's different for every console. Right, here we go. Let me pull this up. Um, or PlayStation. You have to change disc during the game. Open the menu by pressing back and X on the controller. Scroll down and select disc control. Then disc. Cycle tray status to open. You open the virtual disk tray, then change disk index to the disk number you require. Then select disk cycle tray status to close the virtual disk tray. That's what you have to do to change disks. <laughs> Exit the menu using back and X. Save load as normal in game. Okay, let's give this a go. This is the first time we're doing this live on stream, let alone uh, on off stream. Uh, <laughs> here we go. So uh, back and x then we go to disk control that's all the way down the bottom uh then we go to uh disk a cycle tray status to open yeah yeah it says down the bottom there it's an ejected virtual disk okay um and change disk index to the disk number 
there we go setting disc in tray to disc two <laughs> it's wild isn't it uh they have to like trick the the emulator into doing it uh then um change disc end yeah the, then select decide to close it closed virtual disc tray <laughs> uh exit the menu and pay back on that oh uh back on x Okay, that didn't seem... I think I'm at... Oh, checking disc, it said, didn't it? There we go. Checking disc. Please work. <laughs> there we go. Okay. How... <laughs> there you go. That's uh, live on the Islam show for the first time. Any other uh, PS1 multi-disc games we have to deal with in the future. There we go. It was a great success, Ryan. I was a little bit nervous about that. Because uh, I didn't know if it was going to work properly, but it did. It seemed to work. It's fun. It's just funny how the software works, where you have to, because of course the game, the actual hard code of the game is on multiple discs, and there's no getting around that. That's just how it is. You can't programmers can't fudge it to get. I'm not sure that very clever ones could, but typically for emulation, you can't fudge it to just make it automatically happen. You've got to. You know, have that sort that the, the work around to fool <laughs> the system into believe. Oh, hey, system! Just to let you know, I've just opened the disc tray. Oh, okay. Hey, system! Just to let you know, I've put disc number two in. Oh, okay. And now I've closed the disc tray. Oh, okay. Have you? Okay. And then the system's like, oh yeah, I see the disc two there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's just wild to me. Anyway. So I guess we're taking this key. We're going back the way we came. Uh, which I don't think it was this way necessarily, was it? But It's got the job done, which um, seemed to work wonderfully. I don't know what other multi-disc games we necessarily have on the horizon. Um, I know we've got Legend of Dragoon is on the list uh, for PS1. Um, a little shizzle. There we go. All right. Um, when we get around to that, I don't know. But I know that's like a four-disc game. Uh, also, Grandia as well. That's two-disc. Well, now at least we know it works. I say, I never would remember that. I just had to uh, pull up the information, which I'd, I'd saved and bookmarked. <laughs> um... Yes, the <laughs> huge Yeah, I mean, I played it a little while back, uh, Red Mage, um, before I started streaming on Twitch. That's two years ago now. Uh, as like practice YouTube, practice Twitch streaming, essentially. Right, okay, right, and that's the warehouse there. Now is the warehouse just a cool extra place we can go to? Because we've been told to go to the museum, right? But maybe if we've got the warehouse, we should have a little look at it, right? Maybe we can handle it with our new gun. Let's have a little look. Or maybe we're not supposed to go here. Pier number three warehouse. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's any others. Is uh, Metal Gear Solid? Was that a multi-disc game? I can't remember. Officer Brea! Uh, uh, Eva's in there. Why don't you check it out, huh? What? Oh, go call for some backup, okay? So, so, so you check it out. <laughs> oh, God. Um, you off skis, Red Mage. We're, oh, God, we need to wrap it up, in fact, right now. Metal. So I've got another concern with Metal Gear Solid. Uh, Red Mage. Why well, it might be a little tricky. Uh, I'm sure everybody here is familiar with Metal Gear Solid. And if you're not, I'll try and air on spoilers. There's a boss fight. For those of you know. Uh, halfway through the the game, roughly, which requires you to use a second controller. So, I hope the retro arc would recognise me setting up a second controller, and I could quickly just pull up, up the SNES controller. Obviously, it doesn't have all of the controls necessary, so I need to check the controls of Metal Gear Solid to see. If you could just for that section, that boss fight, do without some of the the potential buttons on the controller, 
Um. Ah, can you retro deck? You just do that on the fly. So I could literally just go into the menu and just set the first controller as second controller for that section and then as soon as the fight is done switch it back okay cool i'll look into that buddy all right thank you appreciate that smart c welcome back smart how was um how was uh how was how's your day been um they go but it's wireless as if that should somehow make a difference <laughs> We're at the end of the freaking stream, aren't we, guys? Woof, woof. Yeah. Um, we trapped in here now. Oh, come on. We're getting out of here. That freaking police officer. What an absolute douche. Um, ah, PPK. Oh, five shot handgun. Five shot handgun. Can't take you seriously. Can't take you seriously, five shot handgun. It's nice that it's got that uh, first ability. I assume that just means you, um, you gauge your ATB is full from the get go. I'm going to, um, I'm going to save the game here, folks. In fact, let's get to the police station. I think I'm sure we can leave. So, Ryan, what's your reckoning? Should we try and ha tackle the uh, warehouse tomorrow? Why don't we come back tomorrow on this, guys? I need to wrap up. Uh, here we go. Uh, very well, Smarts. Very well. Doing well. Yeah, that's how, how Red Mage uh, spelt your name there, Smarts. Uh, yeah. You put actually, Smarts, thinking about you. I don't think you were. I'm just I'm confusing today and yesterday. Because I'm a, I'm a genius like that. That's how it is. Uh, <laughs> um, right, yeah, there's a phone through here, isn't there? Actually, you know what? Let me... Um, probably got a few items just to drop off briefly. Then we'll save. Then we'll do a save state. And then we'll get... Um, so, is the warehouse just like an additional optional area? Although that cop was like Eve's in there. Which, I mean, that suggests... I don't know. That's, he's probably mistaken. He's probably just a random monster, isn't it? And he's like, oh no, it's Eve! It's, it's not at all. Cool, what am I? Medicine 3. Uh, right, okay, so we're going to store uh, medicine 2. I think I'll carry around two medicine 3s just, uh, just in case. Not three. And I guess we don't need that gate key now. Okay, I'll store these two guns. They may be useful later on. Possibly that grenade launcher, definitely. Right, now we'll go save, and then we'll leave it here for today. Ah, okay, so it's an area you do have to do, Brian, but um, it's just interesting that it lets you... So we're... So that's the earliest you can do it, because it wasn't on the map before. So that suggests to me maybe it's better to not go there straight away, because obviously the, the longer we put it off, the easier it will be. We should just go to the museum at first, I think. Either way, we won't do either right now. We're going to save the game. Unless it's not long after.
I mean, we are on day five of six. So, um... There we go. I'll level up enough. Okay. It's like, cause it's a tough area, is it? Okay, we'll go to the museum first. Obviously, as you say, we have to, uh... Go there at some point. But, uh... <laughs> Anyway, let's jump over here for a couple of minutes, guys, and then we'll uh, wrap up. Um, God, what an awesome stream we've had today, folks. Uh, got a little bit of fraught there for a minute. I was like, oh, FML. Um, I'm going to need to start this again. I'm going to need to grind. We just had to reassess. I just had to go, hang on, we need to use a different gun, or we need to we need to set up the gun differently, and we upgraded our armor and stuff like that. Now we've got ammo, now we've got a relatively good gun, we've got, we've leveled up a bunch, I'm feeling pretty, I don't want Ryan to giggle in evil delight, but <laughs> I feel like we're in a good place. I'm feeling fairly confident, but who knows what fresh hell awaits tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> I'll say this. It's, Parasite Eve is a very intriguing and unique game. Um, I feel it really was from that retro golden era of uh, RPGs. It's, we're never going to see its like again. You may find pale imitations, but... You're never going to find a game quite like it ever again. Um, yeah, Twigsy, thank, thank you for being here. It was fun. It was fun. Like I say, for a sh for 20 minutes to there, near the end, I was like, oh, what are we going to do? I, I was always, for a second, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to delete the save file. I'm just going to start again. Well, uh, I'll grind it all off stream. I'll uh I'll catch up and we'll come back to it and we'll just start a new game tomorrow. I'm glad we're not gonna do that though. No. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'll complete the game tomorrow. I don't know. We shall see. But guys, thank you all so much for being here. I um I need to thank uh Ryan for five gift subs. You didn't need to do that, sir. I'm just honoured to have you here. Uh, also, thank you to new followers. Uh, Kinnear, 24 Lara, uh, Riven's Law, and uh, Queen Tomboy. Thank you, folks, for those uh, uh, follows there. No, Atheline. Just be here, my dear. I'll, 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 I need to message you, Af. Um, I'll catch up with you in a bit properly. Um... Uh, just because you mentioned something earlier, and I need to. I just want a few more details. Few more details. Uh, just to make sure you're all right. Honestly, um, guys, thank you all so much for being here. I need to uh, just go raid you somewhere. Let me see. All right, let's go to that. Let's go to that. Of course, anyone wants to spend their points on the redemption. But I know most of you like to drop. You know, save up for those. Uh, Flexies, a flexi flexers. Let's see who's around. All right, we got Metapod yesterday. All right, there's a Kuma. There's a Slight, who I do need to speak to at some point. Uh, Lee Barrel. Anyone have any preferences? Uh, do you want artwork or Pokemon? Anybody care? Um, yeah, smarts. I'm very hoardy as well. Like I, I've, uh, I was on Metapod's channel yesterday. I've got like twenty-two thousand points, which is a lot for some people. On some channels and it's not a lot for some other people on other channels but um i was looking at as redemptions 
And always, he's only, he doesn't have too many redemptions, and they're all very cheap. So I'm like, I could just pop off like about 20, 30 redemptions on your ear, uh, Mel. <laughs> or, or I could just hoard these points. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just, I'm a bit hoardy as well. Other people are the opposite. Like, uh, Sween is generally like wanting to spend her points straight away, but, um, uh, Yeah, I. Yeah, it's, <laughs> you never know. Cause somebody might just go. Oh, let me add this redemption. That's whatever. You know, holiday to Spain. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. I'll, oh, million points. And then smarts just comes on and goes. Oh, there you go. I'm really deeming that. And I'm like, oh, oh damn. <laughs> I. <laughs> I should have thought this one through, shouldn't I? <laughs> Uh, but guys, yeah, again, thank you so much for being here. Um, decisions, eh? Um, I feel like we raided, we definitely raided the site last week, not this week. I'll get him another day. Let's go, um, I'll send you over to Barrel. Barrel was in here, it was yesterday? A Friday? No, it wasn't yesterday, was it? It was Friday? Barrel was like, bang! He's our latest VIP. Is uh explosive barrel. He's doing some art at the minute. I don't know what art he's doing, but uh That was good of him. He's got he got more points on me than I have on him, so I should get over there. Um There we go. Let me mark that down for the weekend. Oh yeah, of course, folks. We've um I expect that we'll announce it. We've got, this Sunday we've got a uh, a conflux raid train. Uh, the council members were just doing a raid train. Um, there may be one in the future where we have non uh, council members involved. Smarts, thank you so much for being here. You too, my dear. Um, ever need anything, just let me know. Apart from, you know, a holiday to Spain. I can't. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many channel points you have. I can't. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, uh, I'll be returned tomorrow, Wednesday, same time, nice and bright and early. Uh, and uh, we'll make some more decent progress on uh, Parasite Eve. What, what an interesting game. I'm going to remember it for a long time. Twixie. My God, so... <sighs> such a pleasure to have you with us, Twixie. But anyway, let's go see Barrel. I don't know, he's doing some artwork. I don't know what it is. Uh, let's go. I'll get at me on Discord if anybody needs me. I'll be back tomorrow. Take care. Have a good evening, folks. Bodybuilder for men.